almost give us the still full. trying to do it, man. No, but uh, uh, you know, when you're right, you're right. We can't change that. Yeah, you know what? You know when you're right, you're right. He, he, he brought up like, see, there you go. Now we got because because the first one was like uh, what thirty on. days or something like that. And well, we had a, a we had a well, we had AA meeting in it, so that's why. We oh yeah, it. yeah, and we switched that up. Nice. But yeah. uh, anyway, we got James and Brian here, uh, and we'll get into everything Dead Fest here in a minute. So stick around for that. Um, uh, PK Pest Management for all your uh, p- uh, for all your pest control needs. Get the fly um, spray. Yeah, if you, the fly spray works great. That's something you can buy independently if you're having issues with that. But we do anything from uh, termites all the way down to it's, it's big time spotter time right now. So if you're having issues with that, let us know. Um, we range anywhere from uh, eighty five to one hundred twenty five dollars a spray. Mention the podcast, I'll give you ten dollars off on the on your first spray. So uh, get with uh, Party Rockers ICT. The holidays are coming up. They're doing all of their. Uh, they're doing. Kayla's doing all of her shows right now. They're they're booking yes. for Halloween shows. They're booking for Christmas stuff and all. There's she's got she's got a character for everything. So uh, make sure you get with Party Rockers ICT for all your party needs. Um, See so, their new commercial. Yeah, they did. It was really funny. Yeah, like uh, they did. It, I can't I can't remember um, the site that they actually did it on. It's like the Timbers, I think. Something like that. Is, yeah. yeah, I can't remember the name of it. Me trying to just guess the name of it would be a butcher butchering <laughs> thing right now at the moment. Uh, get with Sacred Leaf for all of your uh, CBD. CBD oil needs, uh, and all your Delta Eight needs. All your uh, if you need a, a cheap glass, real quick, or you need a, a good uh, vape pen or any of that stuff like that, man, they are great uh, for that stuff. Great people. I was by there today. They have a new flyer that says we have the highest legal concentration of THC available in Kansas. Yeah, they, and they actually have quite a uh, selection of uh, Delta Eight stuff. I've never. I've never mess, mess, uh, messed with the diet weed, is what uh, the diet weed is what Aaron calls it. But um, yeah. I love it. <laughs> it's like the well, poppers feels, of weed. It feels cleaner to me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. When I I, I, I need to try it. I've never. Stuff, like, I, I, I think I've been offered it once. And I didn't. I was just you know too cool. I guess. I guess it's the way. It well, at some point me, you're like, no, sometimes I have the I'll real panic. thing. Yeah. Well, I, allegedly. Yeah. So get with Sacred Leaf on all their cool stuff that they got going on. Um, Kirby's. Uh, make sure you get out and support Kirby's. Remember, everybody there is working for tips, so tip the bands, yeah. tip 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 everybody there always. Um, in Wichita by EB, we appreciate everything you're doing, um, and I appreciate everything that this man's been doing. Me and uh, Aaron uh, th- had a meeting today, and we applied for a grant la- uh, this last week that we've yeah. been working hard on. Um, we're trying to upgrade a bunch of stuff so we can help all the cool shit that's going around Wichita. We're trying to help it much more as we can. So. Cross your fingers that we get a little fucking free money on that shit. Well, we, uh, we, we need we need free money, man. All this shit costs money. Yeah. Well, you know and we, I mean? we'd like to upgrade a bunch of shit, computers, mics, everything, like our mobile shit. We want to be able to come out to That's, come uh, out to uh, events and stuff, like similar to what we're going to It's a never-ending hole, dude. So. Yeah. Like how much money goes into it. They see the pile of coke. Yeah. Oh, these guys are fine. Yeah, 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 they don't realize. <laughs> yeah. They don't realize. <laughs> Well, yeah. the hookers brought the coke. Well, I mean, it's not even mine. It's not even mine. How many weird holes yeah. in gas stations we had to hover around? Yeah. You got to hover around the glory hole, too. The shit just doesn't come easily. It's not just one you just fucking just stumble upon. But uh, l- let's make sure um, that everybody... It doesn't come easy. Let's, let's make sure that you know that at least one of us on this show is now dating Taylor Swift, so we're trying to bump our numbers we're up. We're not going to say who. Yeah, well, you don't know who it is. It's, tune in next week. We're, uh, one of us is dating Taylor Swift now, so... Yeah, and we want to throw up, and we right before the graphic, we want to throw up a nice shot of Kevin James. Here we go. Two dudes, Aaron and Austin, made a show. It's fucking awesome. If you like fun, then you know where to go. The Aaron and Austin Show. Sons. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> yes, I mean, some of, the, some, of the funniest, some of the funniest fucking uh, videos online are, uh, like, with it, when a young kid is, like, uh, Throws out a fucking f bomb, you know. I know. Like that. There's a fucking goat outside. He's, the mom's like, it's just a goat. No, nah, it's a it's a fucking, fucking goat, goat out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that kid is hilarious. Or, or, or the, the kid in the car seat cusses me the fuck out. The dude. kid in the car seat bullshit. 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 You can put that at the end of any goddamn yeah. thing. Yeah. That, that's that's a that funny thing to cut together. People off in traffic. Oh and shit. man, there's some there's some there's the some funny. Don't know ones. what to do about it. That little girl that's like, he quit fucking around. He's always in there. He's always in there fucking around. And then one little boy runs off, goes darting across the thing. I got a shit. Yeah. <laughs> and he's in a diaper. Or the fucking Chucky. Yeah, oh, no, dude. Yeah, dude, that shit's hilarious. Yeah. But here we are on uh, take two of episode 78. Oh, well, it was 77, uh, wasn't it? 77. 78, 78 is what I got written down. Well, so now we're 78 probably because no, it's a redo, but I think no. it's still 77. There's now a lost it's episode. It's 78 and a half. No, 77. Oh, okay, so you're right. You're right. Point. I wonder, oh. why, I, I wonder why we would catch, question the guy with the book that's been keeping the track of it. <laughs> <laughs> Because you can't remember my name. I know, but this is literally right in front of me. I I might might still pronounce, I might mispronounce 78, but I'm still going to, 
But uh, yeah, we got uh, James and Brian. Thank you. We had some. Uh, yeah. The first time ever. Oh, other than the one episode we had to ditch based on just uh, some other issues, but. Uh, um, but you had uh, Mormons, didn't you? Yeah, the, the Mormons. <laughs> Naked Mormons. It was. Man. It was a real. Always it was a real. Odd, it was a real odd one. But uh, let's get through our sponsors real quick. PK Pest Management. If you need anything from them, we got uh, fly spray. It's getting towards the end of that, but it's a uh, really big spider season. So if you need uh, general sprays, um, if you're a quarterly customer, um, well, um, we give you a guarantee on that. You know, your houses range from anywhere from seventy five to one hundred twenty five dollars, depending on the size of your houses. And uh, so get with us on all that. And if you mention the Aaron and Austin show. It's the same yeah. price. No, we'll give, I'll give you ten dollars off. You mention so, the podcast, I, uh, I, and I, I well, I, okay. So I always give anybody ten dollars off the first one anyway. So if you mention the podcast, I'll give you twenty dollars off. How about that? Ooh, so the redo, the, re, the redo, the redo, holiday special. So for the first, uh-huh. for the first, for the first one, you get twenty dollars off um, um, your first treatment. So uh, we got Party Rockers ICT. Um, oh wait, they're taking a break off, but, uh, but that's all right. Uh, we still love them. We still love Party still Rockers love ICT. We got Sacred Leaf. Um, Wichita by EB. Um, and uh, we were talking just before this and we kind of, <coughs> God, excuse me. Um, we kind of got away from this and we kind of forgot because we've had some other sponsors that were more um, uh, commercial. But bands, if you got a big show coming up you're trying to promote or promoters that we do $5 an episode to promote your flyer, but pin it to the top of the, yeah. uh, Pin it to the top of the uh, Facebook terrible. page, oh, yeah. and then we um, and, and then we we talk about it on like at this point we would talk about the show right here, and then lead it into the graphic as we go into the graphic, and we do that for you leading up to a show. So if you ever got a big show, you got get with us, you know, shoot me a shoot me a message, and it's just five dollars an episode. So if you want to do it for a couple weeks, but kind of plan because we you know we 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 film a week in advance, so yeah. keep that in mind. Um, but we got, you know, we have some live capabilities and stuff like that too. So let's, uh, at this point, if you would like your show to show up right here, um, or Kevin James, graphic. Kevin James, we're still making that fucking joke, John. <laughs> this week, just make the episode work. I yeah, don't care I was if the, wondering I, if I, people I are still going to be into it by the time the episode. I, I, yeah, I don't either. Now, well, it's still, it's still, it's still it's coming out of a flash in the pan. Well, it's still, no matter uh, what, it's still coming out at the same time. I, I, the I, episode's I, still going to come out at the same time. I heard that she was not invited to the Jets game. Who? Yes, she was. Like, like, oh, my wife. She didn't want to. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. Did Jesus, I, I, thought I, turned, I thought that I turned That was him. That, man. This was the dude that told me to turn my phone yeah. off. Oh, shit. And then Jeez. I did that. Huh? Did I so, this? so, yeah, any new businesses or uh, any bands, like I said, well, we always like to help our promotion for real cheap. Uh, businesses are a little different story because we do promos for them and stuff. There's a little different price range. But if you're trying to just uh, do per show for a band and you got a show coming up, $5 a show. So get with the Aaron and Austin show. And uh, we'll holler at you here in a second. Two dudes, Aaron and Austin, play the show. It's fucking awesome. If you like fun, then you know where to go. The Aaron and Austin show. Maybe so. So faith. Fuck. Faith level <laughs> zero. <laughs> faith level fucking zero. Faith level zero. This is uh, 78 and three quarters. We've tried this uh, 400 times now. The, actually, um, we're going to deem this episode one. If we if we have clips of every start, <laughs> right. I would yeah. like to clip in every start. Yeah, this is, this is yeah. episode <laughs> one. That would yeah. be great. And, and, let's, and, and we are in a bit of a time restraint, so let's let's run through uh, PK Pest Management for all your pest control needs. They kill bugs. So if you guys, uh, we came up with this. Now, do I still have to hold to the 20 years? Because, you know, now we're in a It limbo. depends on if he finds the yeah. footage. So uh, it's $10 yeah. off. No, like anyway, now you need the money. Yeah, no, yeah, anyway. Um, PK Pest Manager, we're here for all your thing, all your needs. It's your mouse things. time, all your all things. Your it's needs. mouse time's coming up, and so is uh, spider time. So, uh, keep them out the house and stuff. And if you're a quarterly customer, you're under a guarantee. So there's all those good things. Um, in any. <laughs> Fuck. Luck. Luck. <laughs> Luck. Okay, so uh, episode 7, 8.97? We're, we're getting real close to the 8. Fractional at this point. So um, at this point, um, it's PK Pest Management or fuck every other. They kill bugs. Every, <laughs> fuck every other uh, insect place. Yeah. But no, uh, if you, uh, you're... <laughs> Now, now we don't care. We'll do yeah. whatever we can to get your business. If that now means coming just... in my hand and making a mouse <laughs> eat it, yes, yeah. So apparently, uh, it's a thing. Yeah. So we're gonna train. My, we're gonna train mice into it. Yeah. So PK <laughs> pest management for all your pest control needs. Um, uh, it's anywhere from free to not free if you need. So yeah. pay us a bunch of money and we'll come fix. Yeah, your pest mention the show. Them. We'll give you a pop tart. Now, <laughs> now, now, now we now we have no idea if the show will record. So we can say, we can say anything. Say we're literally yeah, party rockers. ICT. Uh, John blows goats. 
Um, <laughs> we're also looking at we're looking at uh, Sacred Leaf uh, helping us out every week. And if you need anything from oh. Sacred Leaf, that's actually their bad ball and ass place. Yeah. Uh, CBD through uh, D- Delta Eight. They got everything you need. Wichita by EB. We love you too. Um, everything that you come to, Kevin James, right here for a fucking guy that can't keep computer rolling. Yikes! Um, let's. Yikes. Uh, I pour water on that fucking thing. Um, Tanner, right? And as far <laughs> and as far as uh, this is the seventy eighth episode, uh, we got James and Brian. Well, um, and oh, so I want to I, I want to uh, remind bands that if you want to promote for a show that's coming up, it's only uh, five dollars an episode for us to do your to uh, put your flyer up. Uh, so if you got a show coming up and you want to get with us, we can post that to the top of the Facebook page. We'll do a promo leading into this spot and it'll be at this spot as we lead in and hopefully, God damn it, I don't have to say this again. All right, we're back. We're back. Uh, we got from a few graphic, minutes. Yes. We got a few minutes from James and uh, we got a few minutes from James. I'll say my, I'll say my r- raccoon story for till the end of this. Don't you mean raccoon? No. Like, I, what the fuck are you talking about raccoon? It's raccoon. a raccoon. It's a raccoon. It's a, it's a, it's a, a, raccoon. a, a it's large, a again. it was a large male raccoon. A raccoon. <laughs> Very You're, get out of here with your raccoon. It's a uh, raccoon, per, man. I know, and it's a raccoon. Raccoon. <laughs> Not a raccoon. It wasn't good enough the first time. It had to raccoon. All right, so, uh, so here we're back from the graphic. Uh, we got Brian and James with us. Introduce yourself, guys. Let everybody know. Hopefully for the last time, you don't have to introduce yourself. Guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try to do it as fast as possible. Yeah. Okay. My name's Brian. I play a guitar in Witch Cradle, and I book Dead Fest. He's also- No, it's not Grateful Dead Fest. No, yeah, it's not Grateful, Grateful Dead, Dead Fest because- yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, because nobody likes Grateful, Grateful Dead. Dead is, fucking sucks. Really. Okay, we're gonna go oh, back to this opinion. Okay, oh, we had to reference it. A oh, I, right. I still believe that. Yeah, I still. We're gonna co-sign. I've changed my ways. Twenty minutes. Last later. Twenty minutes. You know, I love the Grateful Dead now. <laughs> the, the, this in the last twenty minutes. <laughs> you know, this yeah. might be why we're <laughs> doing this for the fifth fucking time. Oh, no. Because Jerry Garcia. Oh, he's here. We harshed oh. his fucking high. And all of a sudden, well, this is pretty trippy. Right? Mind, all of a sudden, this is kind of trippy. Like, we've been here before. Well, I feel like I fell into the Twilight Zone now because of this, and Jerry Garcia is... Yeah. I think he Secretly, did that to you. You said you were glad he was dead. I think right when you said that, the <laughs> yeah. computer restarted. It yeah. might have been. It was that, that... I thought he would be grateful about it. Yeah, me too. Well, you know. Yeah. Grateful to be dead? He should be. He's from the Grateful Dead. I thought that's what we were doing I think everyone's here. fucking grateful. I know. Yeah. For fuck's sake. So, James, introduce yourself, hopefully... For the last, uh, hi, my name is James Barlow. I play guitar in several bands across the state, and I've been uh, running sound and all sorts of other fun stuff. And I'm just trying to get this all in here before. Uh, and he has to leave. leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the micro. It, what was that, Micro Man? Micro Machine Guy. Micro Machine Guy yeah. from Fucking the Micro Machines. <laughs> yeah, he needs he needs one little. One, I need like a little, little, little snap. Yeah, a little, a little bit. But yeah, it's no. been a struggle here at the Aaron and Austin Show Studios. Would, today. would you like the Jameson or the Malort, my friend? Oh. No, 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 no. We already did the Malort video. Sure. So oh. if you reference the Malort That's video good, from uh, a week ago. You can tell that J- uh, young James was wearing a different shirt at that time. The, oh, let's pay, point it all out. Let's pay just, no uh, attention to. <laughs> I was such a young boy. Everybody's so creative. Yeah, he I was, was over so, here you overprepared. Look, you could see yeah. the, the optimism shit. in my eyes. Yeah, you can see that. I've been you can worn see... down by fucking computer trouble. Yeah. yeah. Don't yeah, yeah. Shh, don't talk. To, shh, shh. Yeah. yeah, don't. We love you, computer. Don't offend the computer. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Just we love you, computer. <laughs> so let's let's get it. Let's get right into Dead Fest before we. I have to all go downstairs and uh, take a bag of nickels to John. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're bringing back a panty dropper raid at the nursing, <laughs> nursing home. Nursing home panty raid. <laughs> nursing home panty raid. Yes. You, you drop the panties drop to raid them, yeah, right? The nursing home? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. I could go for I something jello. So I green jello. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you never know how With carrots you never naturally <laughs> colored. You never know green how jello. much fabric you're getting when you're going to a nursing home to get panties. That's half the fun. I mean, that's a lot of fabric. That's a surprise. Sticky you fabric. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Meshy. Uh, sticky. Especially I don't if you're sticky anymore. But. Well, especially say say you go to most uh drawers as you run into panty raid at a nursing home. Oh, okay. And they're empty. Then you got to take them off of the direct right. Dir- off. That's with your uh, teeth. Yeah. The elderly women. And remember that? Can you imagine the noise that makes? <laughs> Dude, I don't care. I don't care how many times we have to restart this. I can come up with new dumb shit to say. Yeah. I mean, I'm still in this oh, a little yeah. bit from last week. I'm complete dumbass too. This yeah. Is great. Yeah. Yeah, but can you imagine that noise? It's like, oh, pull, yeah. mm-hmm. like, have you guys? Okay, so I work in the pest control industry. Every once in a while, I flip one of those sticky pads over. Oh yeah. Onto the concrete, and I like have to the peel them up. Spider pads <laughs> and that. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that's the respect and dignity you can look forward to in old age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they don't. Yeah. They only give you one At pair of PK uh, adult. Home. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, they only PK give you one retirement. pair. Of, they all, in retirement communities, you only get one pair of uh, underwear per week. That is what wrong. is the difference so between wrong. pests and geriatrics anyway, though? Uh, no, uh, oh, I, I do oh. see the merging oh, wow. of the business. Oh wow! <laughs> 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 it's we a, already knew, man. Yeah. This is why we're having trouble. <laughs> we're gonna make sure you <laughs> get fucking canceled, karma. man. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's hard to pick out of this eighteen times we filmed this. That which, what is what the e- most offensive? Yeah, piece? what episode I mean, is the really? most offensive piece? <laughs> <What is laughs> the, the problem thing? is, it's that, always me. I'm you, the problem. Well, you start us down a nice thread, and you, do, as a joke writer, you give me like softballs. <laughs> You're like, here's a fucking like, here's a shitload of jokes you can write about this topic. No, no, like, really, what it's telling me is that James needs his own fucking podcast. <laughs> yeah. I know. Dude. Yeah, I mean, that's that, what I think. That'd be horrible. That coming in your hands thing and eating it, man. I was yeah. laughing at that. Yeah, they shit. forgot about you all need that. your own yeah. podcast. I'll never forget it. I won't. I mean, was 20 minutes I mean, ago, like but. it's forgotten into the ether of podcasting, but yeah, there was a great all, segment you guys missed on the last one we filmed. It's, still, it's still making waves. Yeah. Yeah. It's still making waves. Yeah. I can't get over it. We, we haven't worked. I'll be talking about it for the rest holiday. of my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. about eating great. cum out of your hand. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So let's revisit. The Dead Dead let's revisit. Let's revisit. We got enough time. Let's revisit it. So there's a guy with a kink that has to eat the cum out of his hand after he comes. He comes into his hand and eats it. And, 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 and into out, her eyes says thank you. Pulls out, come in hand. D- while he's licking it, does he l- lick in eye contact? I feel like he's going. You gotta make eye do it slower. Yeah, lap it up I like love a dog. You, you created these babies. <laughs> I love you. You kind of slurp it a little bit. <laughs> and he's the one eating his own cum. Yeah. And so I said, Grateful Dead fans. That poor, and it's a, he, 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 he parlayed that into them actually being Grateful Dead fans, which makes it even funnier. That was amazing. Austin yeah. Groom, we love you. I was so grateful for that. Well, I was. Because yeah. all those babies, they're gratefully dead. Yeah. 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 Oh, your son. You know forget I mean? about like, it. And now those babies have something in common with Grateful <laughs> Dead's music. Yeah. 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 Oh, and Jesus, Jerry Garcia. Garcia. This is, oh, it's yeah. all, I mean, this is just the gift that keeps on giving. See how happy I am about that? Yeah. Guys, we we made it 78 episodes. I but really the, appreciate all the fans. <laughs> but the funniest thing is, if you really take a deep dive into this, imagine that poor kid with that kink, how much cum he's eaten in his entire life. He's, he's like, literally his whole life has, because you, you know when you're 16, anywhere from 14 to 20, you're fucking pulling on that thing like you can't believe. Yeah, his, that poor kid has just been sucking on his weight and his, his burps smell funny. Yeah, he's all like when he dies, there so is you, a call you wish you could see like the stats Can you imagine his life? search engine? Like he has really been searching for somebody else that has that same kink. Hello. Kid. Yes, <laughs> me you're looking for. I will tell you, weird kid that eats your cum after you come it out. Um, you're not a, alone. There, you're not alone. <laughs> there's a bunch of but grateful dance fans out there. But it is few and it, far between. <laughs> Yeah, until that's we what get they mean like by Scarlet that Begonias. Yeah. That's yeah. What, until we get all that mail. I eat my own cum, and I was offended. Yeah, <laughs> uh, sh- uh, send a video into oh, yeah. all the mad Slow coast ICT at cum eaters. Send your uh, cum eating videos. Into I think I know post. how to spot them too. It's like the kids that like the little squeeze candy. Yeah, that's oh, gonna be the, the cum gel, eater. The yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah dude, that's <laughs> weird candy to me. That's it is sour and yeah. not good tasting. Yeah. <laughs> it's always sour. When is the squeezy shoot juice ever like a sweet savory? Flavor never. Yeah. It's Funny always thing. like sour. <laughs> it's always like the sourest can, like cum candy I ever. Can spot a cum it burps the exact same. Yeah. <laughs> He's a hundred percent right. Oh <laughs> so if you're a kid and you have that problem, look around at your friends that are squeezing that blue weird flavored shit into your face. And uh, and go to Dead Fest, everybody. Yeah. Go to Dead go, Fest. To Dead uh, let's, Last yeah. episode of uh, Aaron Lawson show ever. Yeah. At least we filmed it eight times. Shit. We yeah. fucking... I hope we, we got, got something. <laughs> we got something out of this, you know. Yeah, but before we get to... Come in your hands. <laughs> oh, God. I, we had to go back to that. Yeah, it was I, so I funny. I loved it. Yeah. How was it funny again the second time? <laughs> well, it's just because it's that good. Because if that's your kink, that's just such a fucking... It, think of... Okay, so say now he's a 40-year-old guy that that's your kink. He's and like, he's, eating, like, and he's jerking off and he's and still single. He's like, comes. He's like, God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like over it as in like his thing <laughs> oh my it's goodness it's like getting shameful just peaked so long ago 
That peaks. He's like, he's, now, he's, like, taste now he's in a weird spot right. in his life where he, should I eat, lick my cum or not? You know, the worst part is like, we could totally make another episode out of some fucking stories that I'm holding back right now. Well, I mean, if you got him, we got, we got, oh, uh, so, uh, so we only got, we only got 15. So let's, let's. We're gonna have this. to remake this motherfucker in 20 minutes. So, yeah, let's, so let's, let's, let's hold with all, on. with all, all right. with all the shit we've been through, James has been gracious enough to try to get some extra time with us. So, James, give us a little bit of your background and uh, give us what's going on. I know where you're breaking back out on an old band for Dead Fest this yes. time. Um, it's going to be awesome. That's on the second night coming in, and that is a nursing home panty raid. So, yes. Um, so give us all of, of that jazz. Give us all. Give us 15 minutes of James before you have to get out of okay. here. Okay. Um. And nothing. Yeah, and I got nothing. What about Damn. it? Okay, can we go back to the cum conversation? <laughs> yes, no, um, yeah, 100%. Uh, no, 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 nursing home panty raid. Your 15 down. minutes, I got time for uh, it. Nursing home panty raid, uh, we existed 10 years ago, and uh, we had a lot of fun, a lot of blood, a lot of blood. Oh, yeah, fun. this is the band that spits blood everywhere. Yes. Damn, um, but we can't yeah, lose, see, we can't and lose I didn't that. know that. <laughs> but I booked you guys. Yeah, so this man has been so, this man has not been welcomed back at multiple locations. No, that's actually there's only one. They flooded eight buildings. <laughs> right. <laughs> With blood. And it's and really cum. weird too, because our singer's just like sitting there licking the blood out of his hand, and I never understood it oh, until now. That poor kid has a <laughs> that poor kid's got the cum hand fetish. Oh, he's the cum eater. Is that the like foot and mouth disease they talk about? Yeah, maybe, um, maybe. No. <laughs> but no, it's exciting because you know, we we're like a horror themed tech death band. And they spit blood everywhere. So if you come into the front shirt, if you come into the front uh, row, if you arrive worry, in the front row, yes. and, right, worry about your. If you yes, find yourself in the front first. row, worry about the blood. Everywhere. Blood and cum. I mean, yeah, coming out of both. And the ends. scary part is like we're older now. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. Like I, I don't know how this is going to work out in a lot of ways because like when I was young, like, yeah, I d- injured uh, myself. Okay, so you going going into a show like this at Kirby's? Do you do yeah. you guys? Announce to the crowd is like, hey guys, everybody that's right here, I'm about to spray blood like everywhere. Or just surprise no. the shit out of them. Or do you just go, <laughs> the people that are going to appreciate it will know ahead of time. Oh, God. And, and there, there are some people. And the that ones are, that won't, you're going to have a bad good crowd of reviews. I, all I want to say is back. if you check the nursing home panty raid show, um, everybody in the front row gets a free t shirt. Let's lie to them. So well, but they're going to decorate it anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's lie to them. They get free five bucks if you sit the closer you sit. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like Gallagher, you know? Yeah. You got to bring, like, you gotta bring yeah, the trash bags. Yeah, so I'm saying you got to bring the trash bags. Dude, in case like, you fucking get in a watermelon. No, I, you know, and the cool thing about like a band like that is I never really know what's going to happen until it's happening and then it's too late. Yeah. So this is a this is a former project that you guys are revamping for Dead Fest of uh, 2023, correct? Yep. Um, and what's your other band that you're? Uh, Terran Severance, which it, we're still looking for a drummer. So how many people from Penny Raider are in Ter- the other band? I held my bass player at gunpoint and said, "We need, we need you. <laughs> yeah. You're coming with me. No, you have to do sense. that." Yeah, I fucking we, we love Terran Severance too. Yeah, no, yeah, Terran Severance is one too. of my favorite metal bands Badass, in town for sure. And you guys are kind of taking a little bit of break, relaxing a little bit while you do this, uh, while you do this, uh, uh, Panty Raid. Um, I mean, we we got a drummer that we're talking to, and he's learning the songs, and hopefully we'll get together and we'll jam and we'll be back out there because I got like six or seven new songs written. Nice, and I'm ready to fucking you know yeah. finish, yeah. fill out, but. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's just, I want to spend as much of my time making music as possible. And, and that's it, you yeah. know? Yeah, you're, I mean, you're doing the same thing, you're feeling the same thing we're great. feeling. It's like, when you get to, I don't, I mean, you're still fairly young, but like, we get to a certain age, like you, like, I'm trying to make my content, like, as much as I can. Right. Like, you're like, why not? Like, let's get, it, get the fuck at it. Yeah. Like, I mean, why? And I will tell that to a lot of uh, musicians. A lot of you guys try to, like, massage it and, and think it's going to you know, make it into the masterpiece. Dude, just release that shit eventually. Yeah, well, oh, and, and the cool thing out. is, too, is, like, so many people get For caught your own up mental in this health. whole, like, competition well, thing. Well, they get, you get you Man. get a little imposter syndrome. You get a little competition problem. Yeah. You get a little, you get a little like, I but, can make this better. Like, eventually... Just release it. Like well, eventually, be competitive. At least make it like healthy competition. So right, like, no, like, like pushing everybody toxic, up. like haters. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I, on that note, yeah. is there still like battle of the bands things? Can we I bring that back? Public not anymore? A lot, not a lot. But yeah. I'm sure they're they're out there, man. Why don't we do that again here? Because you know you can't compare two bands. Like, that's right. You can never that's how compare I felt two bands. That's yeah, you can. Yeah, it's hard I, to say. Okay, like competitors can compare bands. Okay, well. You're exposing me a bit. <laughs> well, you, know, okay, so, you knew too much about that candy. Yeah. Right, so, so I, I'm in the I'm in the blues Damn world. It. I'm in the blues world here, and right. and there's a lot of like um, competitions, challenges. I'll say in the blues world, 
And really what it boils down to is you should have just told me in the first fucking place to play Red House, uh, Pride and Joy, and uh, Going Down. Oh, yeah. like, like you know what I mean? Favorites? Just, just yeah. every band play those three songs, and now let's figure it out. Yeah, you know, so it's even. Like, so it's a, oh, yeah. so there's, so there's like a, a cover challenge. Like, oh, dude, that'd or so be a it's, fun thing. Well, that's a common denominator. Battle of the common. bands, I would actually be fun. Everybody. How has do the you same compare separate. apples yeah. and oranges? Well, no. To me, okay. So let me that, let me put different it, fucking things. Okay, but yeah. let me put it to you guys as I can watch a battle of bands yeah. with different genres of music and how I see it as not a band member. Yep. When I'm looking for say say a battle of bands and it's a blues, a heavy metal, it's a it's a, a band uh, funk, it's a all it's eight all different right. bands and stuff. Give me your categories. No, but what I see, but what I what I'm seeing Give me is categories. what I'm seeing is how well polished they are, how professional they are, how like it, like I'm not going to hear the I'm not going to hear the guitar perfectly. Right. I'm not gonna. I don't know that shit. I don't play guitar. I, I'm not gonna hear those notes. I'm not gonna I'm hear that you. shit. Well, thank I you so, for not noticing when I fuck up. So I don't I do it a lot. And I will tell you that tons of people don't notice that shit. We don't notice that shit. No, and oh, that's but true. You know when it's right. You feel when it's right. And I yeah. will you tell you. Right. I will tell you. That's why we get into I will tell you. Stage, it wasn't the best stage it could presence, be. confidence, um, the the way you uh, present yourself as a band, and like a lot of a ton of those things come off more than you guys realize. Like, oh no, no, I get that. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying, though, and how professional like, you are, like all that shit, and prepared you are, like those things show more. So, so what's than, professional? Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I mark a lot of different categories than maybe you mark. Well, like, yeah, no shit, you're when, a musician. When, I don't when, know when shit. A band, when a band <laughs> comes in, when a band comes in and sound checks, okay, when, when I go as a sound guy, all right, give me your kick drum, and the guy goes, poosh, poosh, yeah, just straight up, I go, that's the kick drum I want it right there, right. Mm-hmm. Well, that's Boom. what I mean. Some and of that's then, part and of it. And then when I see his bandmates That's professionalism. Go, right there. Yeah. That means they want it in their monitor. That's Give professionalism. Me a little bit of that And that's monitor. when I laugh at them. And I go, Because oh, you're not getting awesome. that in a fucking floor wedge. Fuck you. Well, yeah. I don't, I don't, want, I don't, want, your kick, I don't <laughs> want your kick in the monitor. Well, right. You know? But yeah, I mean, but, there's like a lot of people like, I yeah. want kick in the monitor. And it's like, well, you're not going to get- the fuck out of You're going to get a mouse fart. I'm standing really close to the fucking kick drum anyway. Well, and fucking Nathan I hear it. He fucking hits. He's a fucking beast, I put my bass guitar in the monitor. But I also right. tell the guy, look, I really only want attack. I'm right. getting all the tone I need out of my amp. Right. I just, I'm getting that low end. I just need about 300. How much time you got? Somewhere about 300. Uh, we got eight minutes. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's so, yeah, no, talk about. So, so we started um, with this band originally is the uh, Nursing Home Penny Raid. Yes. And they transformed into another band. And now you're bringing this band back for Dead Fest 2023. It's October 20. 20- 20th and 21st. Yes. You guys are playing on the 21st. Yes. And you're after Witch Cradle. Actually, after Brian's And it's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, guys, let's come. Let's make sure if you want to see James, and he's going to tell us a little more about it, but if you want to see James come out the 21st and uh, check out uh, Nursing Home Panty Raid. What a fucking great name. It is. That's a very entertaining name. How do we find... uh, Um, Well, I mean, there's shit on YouTube from the, the before times. Like we did a music video called "The Rock Fire." The before days. The before days. Yeah. But Taryn Severance is the is the one that we is like the one that pretty we, legit band man. To keep up with them. to really keep up with you the most following that's probably the thing to follow at the still. Probably, I mean, right? Yeah, I mean that. And follow you. You can follow James Barlow, right? And yeah, you follow, can just find me. Yeah, find him. Find him. Yeah. Follow all his shit. That's why I think I think there's a like a kind of a curse that goes on with this fest. You know, yeah. uh, it's happening. Apparently, at, podcasting. At, yeah, <laughs> podcast. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> every single fest, John, once it's doing, uh, completely. John, how are we doing down there? So far, so yeah. good, bro. Okay, perfect. About 20 minutes. Sorry, once it's sorry. been completely booked and there's like a flyer made and everything, at least one band changes. Uh, they'll either lose a member or they'll uh, break up like completely, like entirely. You that know, shit so, a so lot. they can't play the show. So it's happened every single fest before. So, like, uh, if any musicians out there who want to play this fest, we're playing Russian roulette with that because right, it's the the dead fest curse. I guess. Um, so, and we started this originally in 2019 as Death Fest a little yes. bit. Yes, yes, yeah. So uh, it changed a little bit after that. So, so mm-hmm. you can give us a little bit of that uh, prerequisite. Yeah. So I wanted it started out as an idea for a birthday show for myself, and because uh, my birthday is the day after Halloween, uh, so. We, the, me and uh, the bass player, my bass player, Zane Rowland, uh, came up with this idea of having a Halloween show, and it gradually kind of turned into like a fest idea, you know? Eventually, like I started thinking about it, and I thought it was a really fucking cool idea, so I messaged Matt Zardoz. You know, Good guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he booked uh, the at that time. 
Yeah, Roger Day. Roger Productions, Day Productions, right? Roger Day. Mm-hmm. Roger yeah, Day. He's a fucking awesome dude. Yeah. And, and uh, shout out to uh, Matt and Teresa. So I, I didn't know what to fucking name the fest. So I'm like, I don't know, Day of the Dead, Halloween, like a Day of the Dead Fest. I Murder, Death, Kill. So I asked Matt about it. He's like, why don't you just call it Death Fest? Indeed. And I'm like, F- oh, you, you should have called it Come in Your Hand Fest. I wish we would have come up with that. Well, that's what the Grateful Dead uh, Fest actually, is. No, that, that's coming next in June. Year. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to give every band so he the let same me do songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he, yeah, so he let me do it. So me and Zane just started, uh, basically called all of our contacts just to try to fill it up because back the first one was three days. And I will say and, when you when when you when someone jumps on a festival thing like that, even on short notice for the first year, I will always appreciate because I've helped and hosted a few of those things that kind of come together at the yeah, last minute. That's true. I will say that uh, the the Wichita music uh, industry, the people that play music in this town, mm-hmm. they always come together for you. Oh, they yeah. play. They play. We these, have a fantastic they, community. They play these. They sure. play these fucking sure. festivals for free, and they come and help out. Like yes, you know every I mean? single bit. This this whole fest is free. You don't have to pay to get in. I mean, there's a tip yeah. bucket, so you know. And then we'll cash. say we'll say like we say it. Everything Kirby bring is tip. Spot. Bring Kirby. ten bucks, guys. Yeah, Shit, Kirby. holy hell. Well, the like, problem um, is with this one, it's almost tougher. Well, invest in your scene. Okay, with this saying. one is with this one is tough um, because you have you have one. What do you? What do we got? Lots. We have fourteen bands. Fourteen bands. Forty six, seven people on the first day, seven on the second day. Bring so, twenty eight dollars. Right. Bring single. Yeah, bring, I'm yeah. gonna be wearing a G string. Bring fourteen dollars. Come on, fourteen bucks. There. there you go. <laughs> plan the tip. In. Fourteen bucks. Well, Give I will say everybody, everybody that on, everybody, if you on. didn't know, every time you go to Kirby's, make sure that you tip the pants. Yeah, and the bartenders, of course. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah. Everybody remembers that. Yeah. Everybody yeah. remembers Way them. too many times. Oh, okay. Bartenders get tipped, uh, and I hope you didn't get fucked. But for the most part, most people don't realize that you're when you're watching uh, free music at uh, Kirby's when you walked right in there. Um, that there is a tip bucket for the band. True. And, uh, and, and last year, like it was re- so crazy during Dead Fest that like the tip bucket kind of got lost and people forgot to you know pass it around and shit. So. Uh, anybody's allowed to pass it around there too. So if you see it and you want to see the beer, you're not get allowed tipped. to take from it. No, oh, if you do that, don't be that guy. Yeah, don't be a, a don't eat yeah. gum from your hand, don't especially at a metal show because these guys will kick your ass. Yeah, I don't care I if mean, it's no. out of God, and it's not an entirely concert. metal either. You know, no, if you not. if you take any well, money out saying, of a donation you know, bucket mm-hmm. in your life, you're the type of person. You please don't come back to the venues that those were at. Yeah, don't take ever show your actually take out of them like James. Take a take a hundred that time and never come back. It's worth the hundred dollars. For you to never come back, but for the most part, please don't steal. Don't. Please don't steal from. And we got Dead Fest like a motherfucker, so it's two full days, and we're starting at six o'clock on both days. That's yep. the plan, anyway. So, and we're and we'll see how that fucking runs. Yeah. And we're starting with. Uh, and we're starting with. I mean, if I once I look up and down this list, yeah, how do you on both days, to start? Yeah, it's you, hard. It, well, and, and I look up you and down this list. There, There's man. a bunch of a bunch of uh, former guests. Of yep. the Aaron and Austin Black Hat Jay, Waze Oblique. Black, Black Hat Jay and Waze Oblique, just to start off, are both uh, former guests. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we got uh, Ether. Is that how they say their name? Yeah. yeah Hugo Hunet. And H- Hugo's in Hugo. town. So yeah. that's why we that's, love Hugo. That's why I'm trying to, and shout out to Hugo. And we can, and you, we'll go through everything. I don't, I don't know when you got to go. You can. He's going to bring me you some can, TJ's hot sauce. That's all. Uh, really we'll, 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 we'll put it to him. Taco. We'll put it to him. We'll put it to him. Hugo's the man. We got, uh, if you don't like Hugo, then fuck you. Okay, so the plan is, and I haven't presented. My people. Okay, so <laughs> I, I wrote this, and I'm glad that we brought this up this time because I was hoping we'd parlay into this. Hugo is my go-to every year. Hopefully, if he's agreeing to this, Hugo. So I hope you're on board. I haven't pitched this to you yet. He is my <laughs> he is my uh, spring break guest every year because he's a oh, teacher. Fun. He's yeah. a teacher. Mm-hmm. Him and Ian both. I and I kind of want to do an Ian and. Uh, and Hugo show together during spring break. Well, so they have on. someone to play with. We'd be well, yeah. yeah it'd be <laughs> hey, hey, hey radio and whatever fifteen bands that Hugo's always in. We could do Shadow Puppet War. Yeah, yeah. just, you know, just be, <laughs> teacher. It's fun that two great musicians that are in two, well, five great bands if you include all yeah, the really, shit that really. the fucking Hugo's doing. But no, the, yeah. it's fu- it's a, it's a fun dynamic. Teachers that are fucking in bands, like it's kind of yeah. it's kind of yeah, a cute, little, cute yeah, little. That's thing. fucking awesome. Man. So, that's not the spring break I'm having. Yeah, what are you thinking? 
<laughs> you thinking, you thinking, oh, yeah. yeah. You thinking, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've already talked about that. Right. There's yeah. a cum and there's hand. Well, you can't develop that as a, you can't develop that kink at a 40 year old. Well, man. there's cum. That's true. I think he's making a convention. Well, if you start, happen. if you start now, think of all of the cum you got to eat. That's so. <laughs> you got to catch up. You know? So, so taxing. So I hate so. how this is circling back. God, like so every much. fucking, like, cum. Cum. We just run back here's, Ke- here's Kevin like, James. Uh, <laughs> and the joke we originally made is uh, one of us is now currently dating Taylor Swift, and we're trying Brian. to get our numbers up. And then we and the reveal at the end of the show is Brian. So Brian all these is the jokes, most attractive Spoiler person. Here. Yeah, yeah. And he's been and he's been sober lately, so he's like he's ready to deal with that. Yeah, bullshit. no whiskey, dick. He's yeah. pretty. Yeah, he's I mean, he's got this on lock. He can do the whole hair thing. Uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah, he, he can. <laughs> well, singing, look what you made me do to her. So, so oh we, God. so we had it. We had a little bit of a fucking break because of COVID. Everybody's story's got a little bit of COVID involved, yeah. and then we've revamped the Dead Fest, and we're back now for how many years have we done this now? Well, it, it started in 2019, but it didn't happen in 2020. You know, so, so this is the third year of it. Fourth, the fourth fest. Fourth fest. Yes, yeah, so we had it in 2021. That was the last Death Fest. We were uh, the ones that succumbed to the curse. We had to play without a singer. You know, uh, then it was. The so, next, what did you do there for that? We just we just you played just play our, instrumentals. Yeah, you didn't uh, sing it. Nah, they you wanted Grateful to. Dead. Not really. I mean, then you covered a bunch of great. I hate my own voice. So even Naked. when I, <laughs> I try to sing, like that you doesn't stop me. Brian can sing a little they, bit. Can they have me sing uh, the the Jerry Cantrell part in Man of the Box when we play it live? And I just cringe at my fucking. Do so the high right harmony there. there. That, no, I mean, all right, I'm give not, us a little, Brian. N- that's not happening. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. on your life. <laughs> Sing me the solo harmony part. <laughs> all right, and go. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll tell it you. doesn't worry. We can't record. Need I'm just saying. My eyes. There you go. I, I don't know the Can words. You <laughs> say don't, know the words. don't worry, yeah. don't worry, Brian. That, we can't record shit in the studio anyway. That's true. That was actually I, pretty I, good, I, by the way. I, I, Thank yeah, you. you nailed it. Oh, like, James yeah. nailed it. Damn. And he backed off from the mic. So I'm kind of like, hard. <laughs> I am too. I had a twitch. I had yeah, a little like right. movement. Well, well guys, I have to go. I'm gonna I, steal a cigarette from somebody. It is before six o'clock, man. Uh, right. Thank I, you, guys. Hey, this is amazing. I, I, I really, all, all jokes aside, James has been nothing but fucking a trooper on this. We've, uh, we've literally recorded this episode. I missed a birthday during this uh, time yeah, that yeah. we recorded this episode. <laughs> it's been a long, trivial trial process. <laughs> I'm now 47. And, uh, We've been trying to do this since before I was born. But uh, right. I appreciate you coming in, yeah, brother. Dude, no, yeah, this is fun. And I, let's get uh, when you guys are getting close to getting uh, uh, Terrence Severance in there and the, all the shit that you're doing. You by the way, you, by you, the way, you, I have a cigarette you guys for throw you. a pin at me. <laughs> but, uh, that was Jerry. But yeah, so when you get all that ready to go, let's uh, let's have a full show and help with your record release and all that crap. Right. Me so and, let's uh, let's take a break. Let's take let's take five. Let's do that. I'm let's take five. We we'll okay. come back with Brian. We'll come back with more Brian uh Saint Peterson. Yeah. Peterson. Yeah. Saint Peter. I was gonna Saint Petersburg. No, don't please. I was don't gonna hit you with the Petersburg. <laughs> just because I thought it was funny. Even I've though, been there. Even though I knew it was Saint Florida, Peterson, I just wanted to put a berg on it. Put a berg on it? <laughs> if you like something. Saint Peterson Berg. <laughs> <laughs> if you like someone, eat the cum out of their hand. <laughs> All right. That's, <laughs> <laughs> and after that, we'll cut to a break. Do, 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 do. These guys can't film a podcast. There it is. There's the back end. That's enough. Like that? that is actually a perfect soundbite to come back from a break. Yeah, yeah. So to come back from the break, here we are. There's a fucking podcast apparently we're doing. Uh, we're we're trying to film it. We're only one episode in, so it's. I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> and we've kind of had enough technical difficulties on this particular episode to yeah, just it's, it's a particular, let it run. It's particularly uh, annoying, but uh, we're back from a break. Uh, James had to go, so shout out to all the dirtiest panties you've ever seen at a nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> I love that noise. One way to interpret that. Yeah, Yeah, dude. Can you imagine? Like, can you imagine the sores and the ingrown hairs when you peel those panties on? That noise. Ingrown hairs. They're still shaving. That'll get us canceled. I think. Yeah, that should get us. I mean, still got to have fun. So, I mean, but you know. That's what happens. That's what happens. But we got Brian. That's what happens. Hey man, are we out? Are we out? Are we out of Jameson? No. So can I have some? Maybe not. 
<laughs> Thinking maybe not. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, James and everything that he was doing, uh, he's uh, really worked hard to get out. We, I'm going to give a shout out to James. So he really worked hard to get out here again today. We had some issues for the first time. We had to really revamp a show. Um, it, we're not going to blame anybody. Uh, it's just goddamn what shit happens when you've done um, a bunch of shows. And, and since yeah. since, um, since then, we've had a million different episodes. We have a million different problems that have been all separate. So it's just been, it's just been, it's just been that kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't right and, now. And, and but since I James appreciate- isn't here, uh, I do want to kind of float his boat a minute, man. He's an excellent sound guy. Oh, he's, he's one of my favorites. Oh, he's, 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 he's a really oh. good person. A great Why are you guys musician? not going to say that first? You guys no. are fucking musicians. Yeah, the first. Well, <laughs> what first a, of all, we, first we, of all, you're you, a sound guy. guy first. The guy's we're, in like fucking. We're only going to talk about him good when he's not here. Yeah, you know what I mean. When like, he's here, then fuck him. Oh, well, you float his ego far <laughs> enough, <laughs> and now he's just going to take over. I did. He blocked the pin, so I'd have to pick it up again. No, uh, yeah, James is a spring. very, very talented musician. There it and, is, <laughs> and uh, he's a good person. He's going through a lot, amazing, and, he, and yeah. it takes a lot of strength. So yeah. he's uh, he's got he's got a couple of kids, and he's got a lot of going on. So mm-hmm. I appreciate him reworking his way into and making us. some time for us today. Man. So yeah. so we so we yeah. lost this episode last Tuesday. We had a bunch of funny jokes about John that we and the way he looks and everything that John is about. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> never, oh, all of a sudden there's so we could talk yeah, shit on him again if you yeah, want well uh, don't talk too I much mean, shit then oh, the I don't episode, know him like that but, uh, the yeah. episode will disappear if you do oh, yeah. so we talk <laughs> too much shit on John control the whole we talk too much shit we talk too much shit on John so the episode disappeared you're an amazing person <laughs> So uh, I mean I mean I would have done the same thing if I was a sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I don't know what happened. Oops, I didn't film it again, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so then we came in and filmed it again and filmed it again and filmed it again and then we filmed it again and then mm-hmm. that's how you know it's right. Yeah, I'm really, that's sweating, the man. amount of dedication that we give to this yeah. for you guys. Yeah. Oh my god! Like you keep <laughs> dropping shit. <laughs> God, what? <laughs> that was my phone this time. Oh, yeah. It's Jerry. Jerry's yeah, here geez. with us. Yeah. yeah. He, he's with all of us. Oh, yeah. He, well, I didn't say it. I didn't fucking say it. I, well, I mean, sh- I wasn't cares. dogging on it, man. No one needs my phone. We're more interested about Dead Fest. That's really what yep. we're here for. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, let's go through. Let's honestly, now that we're here and not throwing shit everywhere. Yes, we are. Behind us and stuff. Yeah, yeah you, you got that? You got that for me? No. no. All right, we're good. But let's go. Let's actually go through. Uh, let's go through day one through day two, mm-hmm. and everybody. Let's get everybody because everybody yeah. deserves their shine. Right. So, do you need to pull up your phone or do I got it? I wrote it all yeah, out. I got it all in here anyway. Right. So, but, okay, but, let's see. I'm gonna see. You gonna test if, me? Yeah. Here we you go. Because so day one, yeah, we start at six o'clock mm-hmm. on October twentieth. That's right. At Kirby's. That's right. Bring right. your money. Yeah, and go for tips. Yeah, because <laughs> it's free. Well, bring money for you know? tips, though. Well, yeah, the, yeah. The first one, buy me a drink. <laughs> Black Cat J is the first guy performing. Leading off. Yeah, Thank you. we love you, Johnny. Opening yeah. up the whole fest. You know, it's a one man band, and uh, Kirby Staple, and uh, yeah. you know, he has a very unique uh, style and stuff. Honestly, so, in a really yeah. unique style for the town that he's brought to. This and it's gotten so right. much better over the like short time he's actually done that project. Yeah, like it's gotten really good. Oh, I know. You man. know, uh, I, we played uh, Gunsmoke sessions with uh, with him, and shout to Hugo. Yeah, and there was a certain stage that was on outside, and not a lot of people are crowd around it until he got on there, and he, yeah, yeah. the whole crowd was. It's just a out thing. There just watching Johnny. Him. We love you. It's it's honestly about time to have Johnny back on. Yeah, he was one of the great. original twenty uh, early twenty episodes of us, and uh, he was still uh, right fresh out of Ghost Town Strays, moving into. Uh, and Black Hat Jay that he's doing well, now. Well, it was an idea when he came on. Right? Yeah. So it was an and, idea. Mm-hmm. Was like a, and well, mm-hmm. you kind of gave him a little bit of spark too because you had done something similar to that. And honestly, he's ran with it and been great. Right. I don't so, have the fucking balls to all right, do that so, shit. All right. So we got Black Cat Jay. We got Johnny Gamero. Well, who's coming up after that? Well, I'll say Oblique. Oh, those motherfuckers yeah. are on our show too. Mm-hmm. Another Aaron and Yeah, Zach's super cool fucking dude. And Petty. And they're super funky. Uh, petty shit, Dick yeah. is in that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> what a Petty Dick. The what Petty a, Dick looking ass motherfucker is in there. What a great fucking name, man. Oh, what? I love, I love <laughs> Well, no, his name is actually Richard Petty. No, it's not. It's Petty Dick. You no, should. no, it's Richard Petty, but that's a race car driver. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's trying to change it out. You know? Yeah. Well, Andy's what also, a great alternative. Andy's also yeah, funnier yeah. than fuck. He is. He's really uh, good. He should, speak of a guy that James and 
I say James Barlow Petty Dick have a fucking podcast. Out in the bush. Yeah. I'd watch. Yeah, yeah out in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, anybody that prepared jokes for a podcast that I'm on, uh, yeah. that yeah. I, I'm, I'm You got I'm a special place. You got a special Yeah, but so we got Waze Oblique. Who's next? Oh, shit. Yes. Yeah, uh, no, 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 I know. It's uh, it's given. There it is. Uh, God, that uh, son yeah. of a I was cheating. Yeah, given was Cody's. Uh, so can we explain them a little bit? We're gonna give everybody. We're you gonna know, give everybody a run. You know, because we that was our only regret that we didn't give everybody. We, a run. Yeah, we didn't let yeah. it you know shine. You know, so we the, want every band to sit and watch and like and subscribe. You motherfuckers. So yeah, everybody. I'm talking about you. Yeah, and everybody in your band like and subscribe. You don't know if I'm gonna shit. talk shit or not. Yeah, we might that, say you're the Grateful Dead's fucking yeah cock licking. Yeah, the, cum licking. Yeah, cum yeah. Licker. we're eating cum. Yeah, to yeah. Go. Sorry, given that's what we're talking <laughs> about over over your thing, but yeah, they. they They've been out for like not even a year, maybe just a year and oh, stuff. Beautiful. And, and local, they've done and local they've, given. Yeah, nice. And, um, they've just accomplished quite a bit. They're playing re- really good shows. What's and their stuff style? Like that. Give them a little shot. Uh, well, I mean, they're uh, kind of a uh, profound. I listened to their single. It's called like Moonwater, and it was very uh, profound. They got their own and, music. Yeah, they shout got, out they, to Given. Yeah. Love original mm-hmm. bands. First yes. and foremost, shout out to you. Yeah. yeah. So uh, after Given, we have. You don't know. Stole. You did it, you son of a yeah. bitch. <laughs> what a great promoter. It, br- yeah. Promoter that knows his dates, no. this guy's in. So yeah. Stole is, uh, and we have to give Stole a little bit of extra credit because uh, uh, James isn't here, mm. and James would be pumping Stole's. Well, it's because Stole's nut. fucking badass. Well, uh, James, yeah. I so, remember in the in the 18 times that we've filmed this show uh, <laughs> that he was really high on him. So we got to give, mm-hmm. him, give so him. So Stole is a town in Kansas that has a cemetery with the gateway to hell in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's... Is that where they got the name? I, yes. I would, I would assume so. Yes, yes, because I mean, we talked about music. It's like, Do you not like, remember these this 10 podcasts we're doing? I'm trying to put it on air because I don't know what was caught and what was I don't, not. I don't even know. I'm not even here right now. Yes, yeah. yeah, stole. We like are a, this repeating things. Stole. This, is, doing this that, is an yeah. AI simulation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a deep fake. It's fake news. Not droids you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. So, so stole because yeah. we got a... Uh, and what's their style? Well, they're like uh, doom, like stoner doom, like the epitome of I'll it. Bet. You know, and actually, like the drummer for Ether is uh, the guitarist uh, oh, really? for Stoll. Yeah. So that's how, uh, you know, I knew them. And we it's just got to play with community them. community goes. Like, I know. And it, yeah. it's a fucking badass. Well, you know, I, fucking to me, band. it always, t- the drummers and bassists are like the herpes of, of music. They are on no. so many bands. We're the mattress. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to say it my way. You want to say yeah, your way because you play those two yeah, instruments. But, mm-hmm. I want to say it's the herpes. You guys spread to all of the great fucks that are uh, that are worth being with. You like it? You like that a little more? Yeah, you're <laughs> trying to warm up on me. <laughs> I don't know why. It that was sounds sad. terrible. It was but. sadly poetic. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, we're still we're still so, 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 Do you know the next one? I'm Do we gonna, have? Galderar. Galderar. So, uh, yeah, so. and, and, okay, and fuck off Galderar for the way you spelled Galderar. Golders. G-A-L-D-R-A-R. Galderar. So I will say for our uh, uh Well, I think uh, I'm fans. saying it right. Yeah. No, say, well, it's because Kelly and Tracy are really good friends of mine. Yeah. Get mad. And by the way, Kelly has uh, helped me out kind of with this fest, too. She's the one that's responsible uh, Is she for the, the lead flyers. Of, of Golderar? Yeah, she's a vocalist yeah. for Golderar. She uh, made the flyers. She inadvertently, inadvertently uh, came up with the tagline, Awakening, for it as well. I will say that yep. uh, no matter what, and I always give credit to promoters and, and, and you as well, because you're part of this. You got, No matter, I don't care about the background. I don't give a flying fuck about a lot of shit. As long, all that shit I take into account, but first and foremost, what day is it? How much does it cost to get in? Who's there and all that shit? And your guys' flyers have hit that. Like uh, that to me is a big yeah. part of oh, it. Oh yeah, and she's been very so, I mean, patient with me too. Because yeah, like you'd be surprised how many promoters do great shows, and I can't tell who's there, what day it's at, what venue it's at. Oh None yeah, of that. No shit. make sure the, yeah. the 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 time and date. The fucking venue, the how much it is, and then you can give us all of your creative ability on all the fucking bands and all that horse shit. But mm-hmm. first and foremost, fill those needs, and they've done great about that. They've mm-hmm. been really great about that with their uh, with their flyer. Yeah, she's done a really really good job. That's so, important, uh, they know what they're dude, doing. dude. That's like you'd be surprised how much. And like it sounds like, why is he bringing that up? You'd be surprised that that is like a fifty to seventy five to maybe a hundred dollar ticket sale difference when your your information is very accessible. 
All day. It really is. And like promoters don't realize that. Like you can make all these creative shit you want, but like I need to know what the venue is, what time it is, where it's at, when do I need to be there, all those things. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you guys yeah. have done a good you guys have done a really good thing. Yeah, about I got Okay, so who's after Galderar? Well after Galdorar. It's Galdrar. It's, there's not an extra E. It's not Galderar. It's okay, Galdorar. so why you gotta chime in now all of a sudden? Well, just cause like <laughs> why you gotta let us flounder for fucking this, ten minutes. There's a bunch of shows here at the hideout. So you've heard of them? Oh yeah. So how do you say it? Galdrar. Just like it's spelled. Yeah, they're metal. There's no extra E. Yeah, Kelly screams. Did you say it wrong or just me? Just me. It's the drawer you keep all your gal stuff in. Fair enough. (laughs) Who's next? After uh, Ether. Ah, yeah. So. Yes. yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's Hugo. Hugo, he, oh, Hugo that's our the man. mighty our Ether. Friend. I've had uh, Hugo's bands on the fest in the past with the Merkins and Thunderbird Hotel. And I shit, honestly, so. I like it. He, honestly, he, Hugo's one of those people to me that I would tell you as as a, as friends, you find these people in your life. Uh, as what you're searching for in life is uh, people that are barometers, like. So if you ever meet a person that says, I don't like Hugo, it's easy yeah, to fuck go, you they, fuck oh, you. You're, you're the problem. Probably a pretty, you're the yeah, problem. You're, probably a toxic you're the problem. Fucking problem. So when you, when you have people like, and I will say Aaron, Aaron is one of these people. Like, I don't I'm mean, kind of an asshole. No, nah, fuck off. But like you're yeah, on, and so it's, both fucking assholes. but you're like yeah, honest, an yeah. honest person, like in the people that know really knows real. It's, so you find those barometers in life to the people that are like, right. I don't like that person. You're like, okay, well. I'm getting where you're fucking Yeah, I met Hugo years ago. And, and just Hugo's like one of my favorites. One of those grinders. He, he does a lot of work, and he does a lot of work for music in general, Wayne, not just his own talented. bands and shit. You know, like such a fucking adult. He's a teacher. I thought he was older than me. We're the same fucking age. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, holy shit. I fucking look up to Hugo, though. Yeah. You know? Don't you hate that, though, when you like run into people that are your age and they've done so much Or younger yeah, than yeah. yeah. Oh, younger. Yeah, yeah. Worse. I meet a 23 year old <laughs> doctor making like $250,000 a year. Yeah. And I go, my age, we've all had di- my age, we've all had different opportunities and different. But when you're like ten years, fifteen years older, you're like, you son of a bitch. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> if only I would have been born in 1994. If only I gave a shit back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's freaking old. So we got we got a hell of a day going at Dead Fest. We're already at Ether. Mm-hmm. And who uh, is uh, the headliner? It's Love Like War. Love, Love like, like motherfucking War. war. Jeff yeah. Kelly. Uh, shout out to Jeff. He is a uh, Jeff Kelly. He plays uh, tambourine. He's downstairs yeah. right now. I yeah. He plays tambourine in that band, right? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're the two owners of of this building. Yeah. So oh, Jeff I Ke- see. Jeff yeah. Kelly's so that's why he's here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's he, why he's it was running weird. an open mic downstairs. And it was weird that he didn't yeah. have any pants on. <laughs> it's a, oh, it's a cold that's day. Wait, well, hey, we own the building. We do what we want. That's what I'm going to tell you. Okay. Thanks for the rest of us. Yeah, and Chewie's a, a a very uh, great so, human being as well. He's the vocalist yeah, yeah. for Love Like War. So, so Love Like War finishes off day one. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're talking October 20th, Friday night. Yep. Free concert. Uh, at least uh, what I would do, uh, I know it's hard to like pay $5 for every band. What I would do is get like uh, $20 in ones and like do a 2 to $3 thing per each band. Mm-hmm. How easy is that? Or do that stripper thing, kind of hold it in your mouth. So if I was gonna <laughs> see, if I was yeah. gonna see seven top bands, and you can really, I mean, we're not, we're, we're about to get into day two. This is only day yeah. one. Yeah, like you can go to Black Hat J, Wazzy Oblique, and both of those you can check out on it's the Aaron show. Awesome, you got mm-hmm. Given, you got Stole, you got uh, Tune in next week. How you Gennardi or Rars and and, and Raptor Gold Bars? Jar. This is not hard. And Raptor <laughs> Bars, <laughs> Raptor Bars, <laughs> Rar. <laughs> <laughs> So and then we have Ether with our with our main Hugo. Shout out to him again. We came love, and then we got Love Like Horror. So that is one day's worth of shit. So that's mm-hmm. the first day, uh, October twentieth, Friday night, starting at six o'clock, and then we're gonna roll right into Saturday. Mm-hmm. And, okay, so Saturday, who starts us off Saturday, Brian? We got Jordan D. Minutes. Yeah, yeah. And we weren't yeah. awkward. I, my my back just hurt that time. Yeah, um, <laughs> Jordan. Jordan, I told him for Jordan used yeah. to host the. Uh, the barley corns open jam that we've taken over in the last couple yeah. of years. And, I guess and Jordan's a, awesome. What a yeah, great, what a, amazing. What a great very kind of person. Yeah, um, she works to promote a ton of shit. And uh, uh, let's have a lot, uh, yeah. shout out to Jordan. Yeah, Jor- mm-hmm. Jordan's amazing. I I love Jordan. Yeah, I always want to have a, a singer songwriter each fest, and she agreed to do it. So I got a really good. Well, one and she's always like super helpful to be on a bill. And like super helpful to be around. Like yeah. she's a helpful promoter. She's a helpful like a little bit of everything. Like mm-hmm. you. Like, sometimes when you sign up with an artist, and I'm not just gonna say her, but sometimes uh, if you do like if you do anything with the Aaron and Austin show, or you like some 
people are a lot more help than others. There are so, people in this scene that are trying to do okay, more so than right. their that, own shit. Okay, so that's why a lot of uh, okay. bands no, 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 that that's not I even that. It's that, not even that. Like, so say I do a bill with three bands, yeah. and the middle band posts it everywhere. Mm -hmm. They're doing more for me than the one I paid the most money for. Well, the, right. You know what I'm talking but about? But that's what I'm saying. There, there are people in the scene that are trying to do more than their own thing. Well, so, okay, they're, they're, they're trying to build everybody up. Because really, if, if we can... Raise Wichita's scene, we all win. Yeah, you got a bunch of friends win. that'll but share like, your uh, bill. Your competition you know, that is they're not even counterproductive. On, you know, you so know they I mean? like to you know help you know each other out like that. Yeah. You know, and so we got Jordan that starts. Yeah, and then uh, who is next? Don't be looking at my notes. Oh, he got them all written down, man. Mm -hmm. Daikini. No, so, no, not next. Yeah, it is. No, the caves is after her. Huh? The caves is after her. It's Daikini. By year, uh, probably probably knows better. you could bring up the better. flyer right now. Daikini. I wrote it off. Daikini. Daikini. I don't even see Daikini there, so I don't either. So yeah. I'm guessing. He's I'm right. guessing he's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I he's a right. promoter. He's booking right. it, man. Yeah. I know, but I'm, I'm hoping to catch him. So Daikini's dope. <laughs> Daikini's dope. Yeah. Daikini, I don't know them at all. Well, they're, you know, I love Willow. They're relatively, you know, newish, but you know, it's uh, full of like music community, like veterans and stuff. You yeah. know, like Matt Jansen. And, Hilario and stuff like that. So yeah, I really yeah. like them. They got a, you know, kind of a, I don't know, desert vibe to them. So they're really good. A desert? Desert yeah. vibe. I yeah. like that. So, so you're throwing vibe. sand. I don't know. Yeah. Ask them. You, know, you said desert vibe. You're throwing cum in here. <laughs> people are throwing cactuses at people. <laughs> Is this a masculine Probably going to be awesome. I just mm -hmm. feel like I've dropped everything. You did. But uh, yeah. so who's after... And then, it, then it's the caves. The caves. Yeah. And so, then, and the caves are, and if you don't know, now you know. The caves um, are pretty awesome. Dude, the caves are one of, I would probably say, the top five bands in Wichita. As, Locally, far, as, as far as like yeah. what they're trying to do, as far as outreach, like they go to. Okay, work. what's your other four? They're on the Midtopia. Uh, oh, let's, let's not. Let's not. Oh, let's is do it mine? It. Is it mine? Do I? Okay, is so what's your. No. Oh, you I, I'm not, I'm not going to say because there's okay, so many bands. Okay, so things. let's right. stop right here because we got plenty of time because we don't got to go nowhere. Oh, shit, there we go. What's yep. your top five bands locally in Wichita? Go. Look. Who, me? Oh, I, I don't fucking know. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to say. I'm just a guest here. It's hard to say. Look, look, it's not what, the caves, what, what, what apparently. I, what, I, what I'm looking for. What I'm looking I've for. I've never thought about it like to rank them. To, to I be can honest. do uh, you know, ranking, not, Ranking's very hard. We don't like have to put them in order, but top five well, local bands. Look, look, I can look, give you my shit. top five. I, I will. All jokes aside, I, I am really shitting on you guys with this right now. But I got, I got my five locked and loaded. No, dude. No, I don't. I don't. Well, because, because, well, well, uh, well, I'm gonna tell let's you. Fucking hear it then. You ready? Yeah. Time and space. I guess so. Time and space for the birds. Nick Gibbs. Uh, Nick Gibbs and uh, Whitney and five is up in up near caves. I thought probably. you had it. Um, and and yeah. I and I'm not <laughs> giving I'm not giving I'm not giving Keo and them and uh, Keo and them is dope. Uh, Keo and, and some TVMA. of them. TVMA. Maurice <laughs> Anthony. Uh, I'm not uh, Maurice. Anthony. Oh yeah, I saw him at like, Gunsmoke. He's yeah. pretty like, good. Look, dude, I, I can't I can't tell you. And Rudy five, and Rudy bro. shit is legit as fuck too. So like. Yeah. I mean, I love his Rudy's new single. Shout uh, out I've, to heard, Rudy. I've heard a lot. Shout out to Rudy Love Jr. I mean, he's a, a former guest of the show. We need to get him back on, catch up with him as well. Overachiever, overachiever. Dude, he's him. doing Rudy Killing Love in the encore, Killing releasing him. some great music, and then he's doing Two Lot, releasing some great music, yeah. man. And um, and all well, the stuff and all and all of Mid and all of Midtopia is kind of his offspring too, a little bit. Let's not be honest. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I just saw that um, my friend D'Angelo with. Uh, Santiago, yeah, thank you, John. Oh, um, they're in Midtopia Studios right now. And then Midtopia, and even, and I will even say a, br a branch from Midtopia, and I don't know if they, you know, have a lot of ties together, but even the coffee shop shit is fucking legit as fuck, too. Yeah. I uh, so, like, I, I mean, totally agree. dude, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 we can give you a splash. <laughs> we can give you a splash. Okay. okay. Spill oh, shit. Yeah, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. Give a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Give a little bit hey, of the shade. Hey, hey. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so where are we at? We're at uh, we're at uh, uh, Kanye yeah. second night. Kanye yeah. coming up, man. Yeah. No, we got yeah. Witch Cradle, and then yeah, Nursing Home Panty Raid. That's right. And the stickiest Panty Raid you've ever heard, Panty Drop. I think it should be called Old Lady Panty Drop. <laughs> Dude, yeah. this show has to be called Groundhog Day. 
Yeah, I just want to, you know, shout out my band members. You got Zane, the, one of the best bass players that I've ever seen in Wichita. And I'm not just like fluffing he's that a for good my bass own. Player, yeah. yeah, he's, he's a, a bass player. Yeah, you get sought after a lot. You guys want to be in a second band? You know, you, you, people always ask him and shit. Especially, and Nathan as well, because he's one of the best drummers that I've ever seen, too. I have one of the top tier drummers. Like, I'm really proud of like my bottom end. Yeah, yeah. So he's really fucking Well, the rhythm awesome. section, man. That's important. Oh, I know, dude. That's important. He's yeah, got a nice match. You ain't got a rhythm section. You ain't got nothing. This is all witch cradle. Man. Yes, yeah. And, and uh, then we, who's your lead singer? Uh, Trevor Rickett. Yeah, Trevor you know, He's known from uh, Parallax and uh, the Trigger Effect and stuff like that. You know, he used to scream all the time, and then he wanted a band that he could actually sing with, and uh, we were looking for a singer. So uh, we got him, and people have been very happy for us. So... So check out Witch Cradle 2, Second Night. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you guys yeah. are after the caves. Yeah. And before the panty drop nurse raid. Yeah, before the murder scene that's yeah. going to happen. Dude, you were going to yeah. lose all of your fucking deposit money on that show. <laughs> I didn't pay for shit. Well, then they're going to ask for money. That's good. <laughs> so, they can't like ask for it after the fact. Though. No, dude, he's going to split. I'm going to split blood yeah, everywhere. Yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah, but they can't like go. Oh, because so you did this, that. So, this, so if you guys, contract, if you guys are subscribed to the show that never happened, yeah. this show is going to is like it was what it's like if you went to an ICP show. And you wanted Fago everywhere on top of you? <laughs> this is blood everywhere. I don't know if anything we say is actually going to ever make this episode. Yeah, I don't have any confidence in it. That's what yeah, God I'm kind of weird about it. Hey, we've reached 50 minutes, guys. Atria. Atria is coming on. That's yeah, Dakota uh, Jackson. Yeah, Atria's next, man. Yeah. Why are really you going to give him the goddamn next answer? <laughs> I was already thinking about it. I'm yeah. saying things, but, man. Saying things, doing <laughs> stuff. was that? Now we're getting... It, it doesn't get filmed anyway. You, you don't like yeah. how I co-host, yeah. okay? Everybody. No, I love how you, I love how you co-host. But it was a, it was, we were in this together. I was going to give him one. And now, you just, and we now you presented yourself on the other team, and I don't know where to go. What I other team? What other team are you talking about? Fucking plotting this shit. <laughs> you you, you, don't, you, you secretly don't, love the Grateful Dead. No, I don't know. There's another. Team? No, I don't secretly love the Grateful Dead. We're in that together. Okay, all right. We're, we're gonna. All, <laughs> we're gonna we can all finish all, this. We're gonna all die on that cross. So mm. after, uh, and then me and Aaron's band play, <laughs> yeah. where he sings the whole time and I just stand there. Yeah. yeah. I do I'm vocal stylings. Sing. I'm more like Yoko. Really. And I just stand there and oh, go shit. like, isn't this guy yeah. cool? Yeah. <laughs> I just talk. <laughs> yeah. He pumps me up. And then another one. Yeah, mm. another one. I don't like a DJ Khaled a little bit. That it doesn't I do know. anything. And then yeah, uh, yeah, Atria is you know. So let's give Atria their singing after all the bullshit. Right, yeah. they're fucking awesome, man. Dakota Jackson, gonna, well, killer singer. Man. Oh, oh they're he's one of the, the best vocalists, yeah. man, in town. He's a well, funny so dude I agree. too. I, I'm with you. <laughs> he bit me once. <laughs> yeah, so we're ch- so shout out to J- uh, Dakota. We're trying to uh, make a show work with them, so that show will happen soon. That'd be great. I love for that sure. Guy. And we're gonna That'd do a rich awesome. guy. and all the bullshit aside. Uh, after the 15 million takes of this show, we're gonna do a full witch cradle show. Mm-hmm. With uh, Brian yeah, and his whole band, so. and we're gonna do. Hopefully, when uh, Taryn Taryn Severance gets their shit together and they're gonna release their shit, we're gonna do a whole show with them. I feel like well. we owe it to him after this. Well, no, no, we were gonna do that already. Right there, I mean, we were gonna yeah. do that already because <laughs> we're gonna do that already because Brian because Brian and, did, Brian and uh, James are awesome. So yeah. that makes it easy. Yeah, I agree. But the, uh, the fact that they've been involved in this uh, ridiculous calamity of technical errors is fun for me a little bit mm. as a joke writer, but it's not as fun. Because we've lost a lot of amazing shit. There is a lot of We have worked harder shit. on this episode than anything we've done in the last year. I got it. Like, it work. There's just like so much. I don't so know, much. man. I don't know, man. You there's know a how lot. hard there's it a lot is here, man. to eat every single load that you blow into your hand? <laughs> God damn it. I don't know if it's that hard. <laughs> We're back. We're back. <laughs> I mean, it had to have been hard at some point. And, uh, oh, and I had to. And I was hard, hard is going to be if we scratch that joke and we have to go back and take all those references out. <laughs> like, holy shit. It's well, not even ever going to happen. It is, it, you know what's always going to happen? Please don't get rid you're of the blow, You're going to blow loads into your hand now when you're, when you're jerking off. And look at them at least. Yeah, and you're going to think about it. You're going to think about it. Yeah. There's so many people out there that's going to blow loads in their hands. I'm looking at you. Mm-hmm. Listening, masturbator, to Grateful Dead. Yeah. <laughs> you Grateful Dead, <laughs> listening to Chronic Masturbator. Mm-hmm. When you look at that load, don't do it. 
Yeah. <laughs> you better put <laughs> in pull that, back a little bit. So you I better put in that crusty. You better put in that crusty ass sock that's underneath hey, your bed. Mm-hmm. It's yours. Don't let him tell you what to do with it. It's yours. <laughs> what do you do with your you dead do, kids? You, you do your. What do you do as a gay man with your dead kids? Do you still beat off into like a fucking rag? Like I don't fucking eat it out of my hands. No, I don't do. No, that. No, you don't do that. Of course. Yeah, I put no, it in the glass first. Do you still just like beat off into a beat off into a fucking? Into a fucking uh, like a rag like the rest of us, or do you gay guys do it different? You guys come yeah, up. Yeah. With, <laughs> did you guys come up with some three? Do it the left hand. Some man. weird three shell Stranger. system that was in uh, that was in uh, Demolition Man that they never. Uh, no, no, no. We we, we <laughs> make, they never uh, we, we presented make, to us what happened. <laughs> we we make cumsicle dildos. Oh, you? fun! You come into a a mold, yeah, and freeze cum. Come into a dildo. dildo. There's got to like be never heard of that. That's a lot of cum, there. though. I mean, I don't know how much well, guys. Yeah. I don't know how much cum you're. You do have to save it. Takes up. about six months for one. Yes. Yeah. 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 Even two. Well, gay do you like save it? So even two like gay guys producing a lots of cum. It still oh, takes yeah, six months. Especially if you're yeah. if you're oh. fighting the urge to lick it. Oh. Well, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're eating half of the oh, cum, no, the cum sickle, if you're coming it half, like a- half, it, half it in the mold and have them ligging, <laughs> <laughs> this is a long, drawn out process. Yeah, this is. <laughs> yeah, is the, anybody still the, listening to this the show? The gift that keeps on giving, man. <laughs> I really we, just said the first thing. Them, I'm where surprised we, that was what it was. Where are we at? If, at uh, we are going to Fractured. Yeah, Fractured, the, you know, closing fractured. out the Who night. Fractured, here? that's a. Uh, is that our biggest uh, groupies? The biggest groupies? What? Is that the one we should show up with like a tassels on our titties and like dance for? Are they from? Are like the biggest band on the on the bill? Uh, I mean, all these bands are headlining level, so it's, it's really I hard agree. to put them in order. You know what I mean? So like any of these bands well, could have headlined. Well, you did put them in order. Well, yeah, <laughs> but it was more so about accommodating what they needed, you know, and what their timing is, right, and right, right. you know. Like the caves could have headlined this shit. So, but the thing is, it's like, do you want to have the caves? Brian's favorite band is Fractured. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> that's he, why he made uh, them the head. He, he, he hates just, the rest of your bands. No, so John, Dorbos, that's what he told us. Off John Dorbos, like he, they played From Yellow the, King way yeah. back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yes, excellent. Dude, they dude. made they named they their played band the Yellow fest King. last year. I know if he. You, are these, is that the lead singer of Yellow King? He's yeah. the guitar player, uh, Jasmine. Oh, I met the lead singer of Yellow King. You guys know what that reference is from? Yeah. From the what? first from the first mm-hmm. season of True Detective. No, well, I've never seen know. it. That's it. that's what that reference is from. No, Yellow I have King. no I, I, shout no to Yellow King that doesn't deserve that reference. <laughs> John, can we cut his mic? Yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. no. I, I'm, I'm afraid of cutting anything at this point. Honestly, right. yeah, honestly, no, no, yeah, you can't cut my mic. Fair, just fair, just fair. film it normally, and you can oh. cut my mic. I'm afraid of touching anything. <laughs> we'll overdub it later. No, we don't have to overdub it later. Just film it normally, and it'll be intermittent. The yeah. host is Michael. Yeah, anyway. Sorry, John. I just. But yeah, that's uh, that's the fest, man. Like we got two days full of like headlining so, bands then, that you would have to pay for. I think you have a badass festival lined up for free. I think it's amazing. And yeah, what's funny? Isn't that fucking yeah. cool. What's yeah, funny yeah. is as soon as the festival ends with uh, fractured, is yeah. that how you say? Yeah. Then right after that, Witch Cradle's coming back on for a four hours set. Yeah, they're playing. <laughs> They're playing until... We'll be coming in our hands then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Which yeah. Kratos coming... That's actually the set. No instruments that, involved. Yeah, that's, yeah, the, it, that's it, the plan. It, well, it, well, no, it's actually... What's the plan is see how see if they can do the second come. Because after you do the, the first one's easy. Yeah, there's like less. Yeah. You know, the like, first how one's fast easy. is the reload? Yeah, yeah. yeah. the yeah. first one's easy. Yeah. And the second <laughs> time... <laughs> yeah, this one's going to take a while. That's yeah. why it's going to be four hours. Yeah, it's yeah. like... Especially with everybody watching. I'm not even interested in this shit. For real, maybe if you're into someone watching, you know. For real, though... um, Wichita likes to bitch about there's nothing to do here. And I'm going to tell you that you've created it. You made a whole weekend for free music featuring the best bands we have in town. And if you're going to bitch about that weekend, look at the lineup. The guys. Fuck you, dude. You nice. get to fuck yourself. Dude, and like there's like, no fucking in, excuse. In the most no, hard and you can, and like, you can even come to one of these cheapest bars in town to drink at. Oh my god. And, yeah, it's and like you, that. And you can be a complete ass and not tip a band a dollar and watch 14 fucking bands over please two days. Don't. Yeah, you could hit it please, and quit it like that. Please, you, know? you could, but, but don't, please, but don't be that know, dick. Don't be, no, don't be I'm that just saying, that's, that's that, that we preface this to say, don't be that guy. But you could. I mean, I'm for telling you for two days full of music, you, <laughs> you can bring this? a $20 bill, put it in the fucking bucket. No, you right. can't do that because that goes bill. only one Let's band. Go. That only goes into one band. That's the only one problem with Kirby's 
process um, is because I would like to do what you're saying. So, so let's say Black Hat J, which is uh, Johnny. I love you, brother. So he's going. to I'm going to try yeah. to be there for the Friday night for sure. Okay. So the Aaron and Austin show. Well, half of us. Well, is, what you're saying is that if when I the put bucket 20 goes around, if I put twenty dollars in that, that bucket, it goes to Johnny only. Like I can't do like Pretty a. Much. I okay, can't okay. do like a two dollar split this between every act. I wish it was the other way. Well, can't, well just charge us ten dollars at the door, Kirby's, and we can all get past this. Yeah, 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 yeah there, there is something there. Come on, there come on. When we're doing a thing like this, like okay, now we can always stick to the regular. I'm gonna call Kirby's out. Let, uh, <laughs> let, 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 let me let, let me say something because we can't because we can't record. Be kind. It. I, I love, love We Kirby. can't. Be kind. I love they're, they're a goddamn sponsor, so it's of course like my I'm home. be kind. I love well, let, let's be honest. They're a sponsor. I'm, I'm not gonna shit on them. But when we do something like this, let's do a ten dollar. Per day, per day, uh, per day. Per day. I don't know. It wouldn't be my decision. It'd probably be Ryan's decision or it something be, like it that. It would be. It would you be. Know? But like on something like this, if we're doing a normal Kirby show and they're a sponsor of ours and I love them. And mm -hmm. I, I support everything they do and I always tell. But how do I get the money in everybody's hands? Exactly. Because that's I want to come for as long as I. I what do I, I got to do? What, okay, so I got. I got I'm busy. I can't show I got up all seven day. I got seven bands per day and the only way I can tip the bands is by tipping the bands. But so I was straight up. While they're playing too. So. What if I do $5 per. You're charging me. Now I'm paying $100 for a fucking show that was I, free. I will straight up show up and pay $10, $15 to give to all those bands. That's the thing. You, all the bands. You do, all the bands. What you do on a show like this, and I know, and I'm not trying to promote or help your festival in the future, mm -hmm. and uh, and I know um, Amir Usman, who is about to do our show uh, next week. Um, Amara, Amara, Amara Osman. Osman. Uh, dude, Badass you heard what I said. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think we can uh, take a few shows and make them uh, paid entries at Kirby's. I mean, with that lineup, you, you could. I this think so, lineup, dude. I think so. This lineup, I think I could charge just, ten dollars for one day. Let alone, I think we do charge. I think $10 I would. A day. I, I think yeah. I would pay ten dollars a day. For yeah, this. twenty dollars a show, mm -hmm. or I can do a fifteen dollar pass for the whole weekend. Yeah. You know, yeah, do, I've had oh, that, that idea good. before. That like, yeah, a, welcome to sales. Yeah, I could bring Dead like Fest to like another like venue that. too, or something that would so, do that. So, so this is, has always been what is lacking in Wichita's music scene. Is the business so marketability the business head? Okay, so let's about say, how we approach let's, music. Let, let's say this is uh, because I, we're even talking about this with grants that we're working with. Yeah. This year, you've already done the Dead Fest. Next year, let us help you work with it. I think we could help you make this a two day festival at multiple it venues. It is a two day festival. And it <laughs> will, no, 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 no. I'm talking about like a two day festival Same. paid two day festival. That this, should there, be paid. Look, as I look at this, at, at the talented artists you're that I've had on at our all show, all stars, man, you're looking at all stars. Come on, man. come on, all like, like the Smash all Brothers. Stars. This, is, this yeah. is a thirty dollars. <laughs> this is a thirty dollars ticket waiting now, to happen. Now, my problem is that undercutting all these bands in one weekend. That sucks for our whole community, really. I mean, you know what I mean. Like when these guys don't get paid. What they're due to play a show, and, and, and yeah. I know they're I know they're doing like twenty minutes. I love how you were so ready to catch that like, pen if it went further. No, yeah, like, I was you looking were like, at it. I'm anybody. fucking ready. You yeah. went and fucking like, like a stance. I yeah. get that, but like, no. But, first but and foremost, I, I, first and foremost, I will say, and and what I and what I'm going to say to him, and what I'm going to say to you, is what I hope we all feel, and and I hope it's not too harsh. There is no way a fucking set like this. Should go off after two man, days without everybody making a couple hundred bucks. Man, because that's a badass bill. This, really this, is. Like, no offense to that, Kirby's, and no offense to this. Uh, like this, this set here is every bit of five dollars a band. That's if killer. You were, and like, there is nobody that you can. There's, they're really fucking. You know good what I'm bands, saying? Man. And yeah. That's they what I mean. are. That's what I mean. And that's and why I think it's, and it's in, crazy that the, before you know, like when I approach these bands, ask them to play it. You know, I tell them it's Kirby's and it's, you know, it's a free show. Yeah. I let them know up front, you know, so they all know what it is. Again, like you I know. said, we, I don't know if this is a podcast that we, but it's very promotional. You know, I don't know if a this lot is of a, people show up, yeah, you know, yeah. like, I don't know if this is a, a podcast we eyes. actually captured in, but you're saying the thing, like when you ask like the talent in this town to come through for a festival or something you're trying to put on, especially when it's someone like us or someone like you who was entrenched in the music community in this town. Like everybody shows up for you for it's nothing. True. It's true. For not like they do the, they'll do these sets for nothing. They'll come and do these great shows. We gotta we gotta change that a little bit. 
I mean, I mean, as a musician, you kind of start to accept we, that you're not going to make any fucking money. Well, but, but, but okay, but, <laughs> but we can also though. change that. We can also change that. No, up. let's break well, even. Okay. That's also like well, why we got a good community when a band like Ether comes into town and stuff, and we'll give them money out of our tips just for gas well, and, to get home. And, and what shit. I'm saying though is, is, that, is that Hugo's not bringing his band up here every fucking weekend, right? You, you know? know what I mean? It's not like. Um, it was if we pay him. Well, I don't want to pay five dollars for your show because I'll just see you tomorrow for free over here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like see, we in, in Wichita, we have that. a lot of that. In Wichita, we have a lot of no, that. We, we got finna bands. stop that. We got bands running like I play every weekend here. You know, for five dollars. Yeah. Though. Well, I play every weekend here, and those five dollar shows never work because they oversaturated anyway. Right. Supply yeah. creates. the yeah, playing demand. too much, you know. If the, you oversupply, there's no demand. And now I can't charge right. for you, and now you're worthless to my club. Right. I, uh, I, our I, first yeah. year, we played Kirby's all the time. Right. We were playing free shows all the time. But it's always tips. And well, a, I a will case. say, we tips, okay, so let's... But you're let's, trying to get your name out there and stuff, but like... It, I understand. But when you play okay, too, too much... I do understand that. And then you go down and play at the elbow room. Right, listen, now listen, listen, I can't bring you listen, 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 no one's coming. Yeah. Listen to this yeah. unpopular opinion. I'm going to lean way back. Uh-oh. You better go. I'm going to lean way back. I'm gonna lean way back so you guys know I'm serious. He's about to admit that he likes. Kirby. Okay, so at, at at Kirby's, where you cut your teeth a lot, a yeah. lot of bands have. They play mm. there for free. Yeah. I say I should be able to come back to that venue where I've built a fan base and then do a ten dollar show. I think so too. And then do I think, I think rarely. So. Okay, so let, let, let me let, let me say from back here one more time. So I <laughs> think Kirby's. Thank you. Don't pour. If you pour oh any of that in my drink, I will not <laughs> drink that. But I will say, Kirby's. Let's 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 balk on this. I know you're letting everybody through, but once I've like your band, Witch Cradle, or your band, insert name here, have cut my teeth at this band, uh, cut my teeth at this venue, and I've made you money, and I've brought in. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. that when we I can play here. We sell it out. Then we can not sell it out as. If I walk in, it's like eight motherfuckers walked in that place. I'm telling you, you can sell out Kirby's with it's, 80 well, people. Kirby's is the smallest people, the smallest goddamn bar ever walked in. Fucking venue, if I walk people. in, it's like three people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that place gets overloaded during the fest, too, dude. But, but it's 80 people, is what I'm telling you. But that's what I'm but saying. Well, yeah, there's that, going to be a lot of people. So, there, I, will think, so if, I would say that one venue in town needs to adapt. That once I have become a staple at Kirby's, then now we can do a $5 to $10 show. Eight. At your venue, that's that I will it. Bring in, that's it, and then and we can negotiate that. And Adapt uh, to what's happening. Uh, Amar, uh, Amar, Amar Osman, Usman, uh, am I saying his Osman. name right? Yeah, um, and he's our guest next week, so I'm gonna fuck up your I name. I hope again I'm saying week. it right. Mm. But uh, the thing is, is he tried to do a ten dollars show there, and that and that's the same thing. Like we can have Witch Cradle there, and we can do these free shows, and we can do these things, and we can build up these, and you can build up these. Uh, uh, fan bases, and then your fan base should also be able to come out to that show for a fucking five or ten Guys, months. But that has also been what Kirby's has been about forever: is right. touring bands coming through, getting their first break. Brand new bands in Wichita coming to get their first break. Yeah, so but that's, that's why it's show. a free show. That's why it's a free show. So th- that's but different if, from the model that I'm talking about. But if there is not a next tier to go to, your whole fucking scene stagnates. Yeah, so so and I would say, not, I would say that's that not real. That's not yeah, that's not cool. I well and I would say like you're saying a roundabout leads to saying that Kirby could help like boost our thing if we could the shows that and, are like and, okay, let's say the F and G's come back for yeah. the fifteenth time. Now it's time let's have a ten dollar show. Well and, and, and I agree with you. So now and now, I think now they're it's starting time to get there. Which cradle which cradles played at Kirby's, they've done the Dead Fest. That's separate. I but, think they're starting to get Cradle, there. But Witch Cradle's a big fucking deal. You guys are not no fucking little ass band in this town. Like Terrence Severance, yeah. Ter- Terrence yeah. Severance is not no little ass fucking deal. Like those are those are bands that could bring fifteen to twenty to thirty people to Kirby's, where there's nowhere to stand and nowhere to be. So it, at that faction, we should eventually say let's do shows to per- to build up our scene. But one, Kirby's is in, in, and I will say, and you guys can both tell me if I'm wrong because you're musician, uh, musicians, and I'll shut up in here in a sec. I promise. But like, I won't. You can fuck off. <laughs> but I will say, like, Kirby's is in a unique position to transition you into from a, and from, I think they're starting to do that. Okay, for transitioning you from a, a, a local artist that makes nothing into someone that can charge. 
ten dollars a show. That's what I said. Well, right. I think they're starting. To that's do how that. we started and stuff too. But the thing, with, like with the fest, you know, it's a lot of it's promotional. You know, yeah. so it's these bands are have lots of big followings. You know, yeah. And that's why we want to kind of mix the bill of different genres because, like, say for example, the people that you get to follow, piggyback. Yeah, the people that will follow, like, uh, let's say Galdrar, you know, they're gonna they're gonna get to see Ether, and they never seen him before, you know. Right, so you got right. a bunch of fan bases. Oh yeah, we do. We're about to see we new bands they haven't heard before, yeah, and it's podcast. free, so they don't have an excuse not to you know see him since it's right. it's free. You're stuck here. So and, the next and, and show and that I, they play afterwards, you know, yeah, well, we as a though, like, oh, I, I love that band. I've never heard that band before. I've you know, they're going to go and see him again for a $10 cover, say, at like Barley Corns or Shamrock or something like that. Yeah. You know, so yeah, yeah. Th- so it's kind of uh, very promotional. A lot of people show up. You yeah. So, to what, meet, we, so well, you what we should say is maybe happen. if you get yeah. into a yeah. free show, buy merch. Oh, yeah, they can bring merch if they yeah. can find a buy place to, to put so it. So if you get yeah. into a free show at, at, at the, you get this Kirby show, And even if you merch. don't see it, ask the ask the drummer, man. <laughs> Nobody ask ask the drummer. Right. Hey, where's the merch show. at? Or, or, yeah, Everybody maybe, maybe not the drummer. The guitar player. Uh, maybe the, the lead singer. There you go. Ask the lead singer no, where the, lead the merch is. the lead singer's always weird. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Whether that's a good weird or a Jesus bad weird, but you're always weird. Well, just know. ask any member of the band. And well, they'll like, talk the to bases. Yeah. Where's my merch? You yeah. ask the bassist. Well, this fucking asshole has it in his van. Okay. I, will, I, will say, I will say, ask the bassist. Most times your bassist is your most level headed guy in your band. <laughs> you, your guitar player is a bit pretentious. You got a weird you got a weird lead singer. You never know what you're going to get from that guy. Your drummer is a fucking crapshoot. Your bassist is a pretty steady guy. Usually, I'm not gonna lie, and I've been around a lot of you. There's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bass players, and your bass player is pretty steady. I'm not saying good, bad, or indifferent. Steady. <laughs> the rest of you guys are yeah. crapshoot. Always kind of drunk. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Always a little bit. And there, and loves to sing a bit. And loves to sing a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most of these bands they got merch. So buy merch first yeah, and foremost. Buy merch, buy the- especially if you didn't pay to get in. Buy merch. So and, and uh, but I will still say, and we'll circle back to this a little bit. Kirby's is at a unique position, and I, is Scott Scott who owns Kirby's? Is it, uh, I think is his name. I don't know. I don't actually know. No. Ryan Bell. Ryan. Ryan. Mm-hmm. Ryan is yeah. who owns it. And I've I've kind of half ass got to talk to him through Trapper. Like I don't know him personally, mm-hmm. but like I think Kirby's is in a real really unique position in this town um, to transition some shows into free tip shows and to like, to have a show like you're doing to do on tips is ridiculous. I will say yeah, that I mean, a little bit like your show's amazing. Like we just went through, we sat here and went through it's a lot of badass. Bands it's there. a lot of an extremely talented bands hey, in this but, town. But, but, but um, the fact that they're able and willing to do that show like that, that's huge on them. Man. Well, that's that's, that's right. pretty awesome. You know, like, well, that's more of a yeah. shout out to the bands than yeah, Kirby's. It, but it's pretty awesome. Well, I mean. well, I see what you're saying there. You know, you know what I mean. Because all these bands like are if full I, of amazing you, people, you told me amazing it, musicians and stuff. And they well, if to you do give this me that 14 me, list, you know, well, can, for everybody it's involved, it's incredible. Really, you know, there's going to be a lot of fucking people there, and yeah. every band's going to get new followers and stuff. And yeah, but yeah. last year it was it got pretty crazy. You know, the Saturday show the line to the bar was out to the fucking street and yep. shit you know you're so, coming with me or are you out of town that week what is it, what is it? well the best we're gonna fucking get we're gonna line it out to the street yeah if i can be there i'll be there mm-hmm. that said that see that's another thing again and i don't want to like keep beating this beating this but like if you got a line out to the street for the bar like there is no way in hell that any band member or any uh, any act on that bill should be playing for tips. Oh yeah, the bar is <laughs> you know making saying? money. Bar is making money. That's oh, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like so like that's what I'm talking about when you're talking and again I when you have something like this that is such a fucking amazing lineup. Like and we're just giving it to you for free and you're just relying on people to tip. Like it's not gonna happen. Like this is easily should be a thirty dollar a day show. It'd be it'd be it worth be. it. It'd, it'd be. be worth it, dude. Easily, easily. I, I would say make it a Lodo show and encourage that that place sells out. 
Go, go like well, I, I'm going to encourage, and I'm going to put. I'm uh, hoping to uh, connect with the owners of Kirby's. Fifteen Moore. a day, twenty for the week. I think. Band. Well, I think I can. I can think. Uh, I that'd can, be cool. Yeah. I think we could change Kirby's model a little bit. A little bit. I think that they're in such a great position to do that. They honestly are yeah. in the position to to dictate the money in the whole entire town of what, yeah. like, the thing like is, open, man, like it didn't. I didn't think it would be this. Like kind of big, you know. Good, when man. I first started, you, you know, put together a really cool thing. This, it should, uh, and because well, the, and you've worked on it for multiple years, that helps, right? So at each year, the bands start, you know, bigger followings with these bands and stuff like yeah. that. I mean, you've heard of every single band on this bill, or you know, every single band on this bill. Right. You know, I didn't expect it to get so. So big, and you know, I just I do this just because I make friends doing it. Like I don't oh, get yeah. paid or anything. And, and I do it because well, it's a lot of fun. And, well, and you're doing the and you're doing the podcast uh, uh, formula. You get my fans, I get your fans, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. that's what's great about like festivals like this. You sit through my band, you, you sit through this band, and we get to learn about new shit. Like yeah. that's that's it's, it's pretty yeah. fucking awesome. A lot. That's what's great about festivals and shit. Mm-hmm. You probably expect to get a lot of new followers and stuff after playing our fest and shit. So yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of people would would so. ask me so. to play the festival, you know, like bands want to play this festival, you know, which I don't mind being asked, but there's been some people who've been almost to the point of harassment that won't leave me alone. We can't, oh, yeah. And hey, we love you out there and we love your bands, but Brian cannot get every, I will say it for him, he cannot get every fucking band on this bill. He only has so many spots. Already, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that was another problem I ran into this year because I send out like a first wave of asks or, you know, about these bands. And I'm expecting maybe half of them to say yes. And then all these bands end up saying yes. And I've already started asking other people. I'm like, oh, shit. This year, like people's like more people said yes than I like thought. Well, you, you always know, have like, to overplay it. Well, yeah, I always, and I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you a joke, Brian, that I told that I told uh, Aaron. Because we've been invited to festivals and we're helping you promote one right now, so it's even a joke that's really prevalent. Mm-hmm. I said, Aaron, if I ever come to you and want to do a festival, kick me in the balls, and we're not going to do it. Because <laughs> it's <laughs> like, and, like, and you get that joke because it's such a fucking hassle to yeah. get it all coordinated and like deal with all the fucking. Like it can feel that way sometimes. Like it's a lot. You got two days of shit. I think I I think I just like the fucking challenge too. I I agree. You know, you first of all you want to see who you can get. You know, I start out very ambitious. You know what I mean. So that's where you start getting your nose, you know. That's what you expect. Yeah. And then you actually get something, you know, big, and now you can base it off of them. But then you have all these bands that are headlining level bands, and now you have to slot them, and which one should go first, and then you have to ask them. You know, some bands need the outside stage because it's a little bit bigger, and they got like five people in their band. You know, as opposed to like a three or four piece that's oh, easily inside. Yeah. yeah, the whole thing. Brian, you yeah, know, Brian's putting in a lot of work. I ain't gonna lie to you. I think about it a lot. You yeah. know, but I love it. Like a lot. Of, it's a Halloween. Well, yeah, Brian fest, would be an man. easy. Brian would be an easy guy to work with. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, because he's gonna he's like he's not. He's I a try no, to be as pleasant well, as possible. A no, but, well, he's a no stone yeah. unturned guy. Like he's like he's thought of everything, like that helps. Like to me, like we've worked on a ton of fucking festival shit, and like it's an undertaking that I don't know how you guys right. deal with. But it's, it's easy. A lot, man. I mean, it's a lot, man. Because there's like bigger, You're right? Like people like Hugo does gun smoke sessions, yeah. and a guy named we, Matt Isley does rockalua. Hey, Hugh, Hugo, like, we are gonna let's let's. Uh, he's talked to us a little bit about this. Let's make it official on this repeat edition of Groundhog Day. Aaron and Austin show will be at the gun smoke sessions eventually. <laughs> Stage side. Eventually. We'll you like year. that non-committal term there? But, you know? you like, like what I'm saying well, next is year, that- Oh, I'd like you want to do it next year? You want to do it next year? <laughs> I'm not committing. You see? <laughs> will you? Oh, I can't. But I, I brought. Up, I can't even film a fucking show at our studio without fucking being scared. Oh, well, I, right. I can't commit to nothing across the border lines. Well, I brought up gun smoke <laughs> because it's like a, he had to do way more than what I'm doing. You know, I'm. I get to use um, Kirby's. I get all, to use their stage. I get yeah. to use their sound guy. He had the Hugo had a, a venue. Yeah, he had a. Whole, yeah, he had to do yeah. a bunch of shit, and then he had to like be in talks with like the city of Dodge and shit oh like that. God, yeah. You know, I can't do what Hugo does. Shout out to Hugo. Like, I, I'm hey, depending on Kirby's to, to, to the let the me city, just though, book this you. fest because you know I like talking to the city. I'm all right with it. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. If you ever, it, uh, well, just so you know, do you see the uh, 
construction going on when you get off of 135 right now? 135 where? Trying to get off to 135, our, big ass road. Trying, trying to get, get off. To our studio mm-hmm. right well, now. Our studio. I'm getting off in your studio. So I <laughs> I called in. I called in and got that bump fixed at 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 first and uh, 135 to go. Like to what? Our when you coming south off it? Like if you're get if you're coming from Kellogg, right. go and get in at one. Oh, I know what bump you're talking about. Yeah. How did you get it fixed? It's getting fixed right now. You're welcome, bro. Congratulations. Yeah, that. bro. I called oh, that great. in. That's awesome. Thank you to my dad, actually. My dad <laughs> called that shit in. Happy for you. But uh, uh, That was uh, a badass bump. It though. was, was, it was, was causing was, me issues. That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm saying. Is If you get the right people together, all together, the shit works right. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying with your guys' uh, festival, the Dead Fest. When we talk about, um, and we went through the whole entire lineup, it is literally... Headliner after headliner that's doing ten dollar shows all across this town, everywhere, all across this country. So, in some of those cases, so it's guys. yeah, mm-hmm. it's, and it's really hard to both days, both days, both days, and we're even bringing back a, a, a panty dropper, <laughs> fucking old lady crotchy nursing home, panty. nursing raids. Yeah, it's a, a molesting old lady for a panties band. Yeah, that's coming back. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> strike that. <laughs> Change that out. Let's no, I mean, no, we should I mean, keep these, it. These old broads you know? and these fucking nursing homes need a little action. The, yeah. yeah sometimes, sometimes you got to yeah. peel them Ugh. panties off. Oh, no, no. Times, times ain't that hard yet. That was a good, that was a good yeah. sound effect. That was a great time. Yeah. Can we at least record that? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. That'll be the that panty drop. That sounds sound. sandy. Yeah. <laughs> we use that as a sample. The next sounded, album. That sounds like those panties have been on for a couple of weeks. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so so let's let's end this eventually. Is right. it, so this is the podcast that never ends. <laughs> yeah, it never starts, my We've friend. We've done this yeah. for thirty four days. Yeah, it's, it's fucking Groundhog Day podcast. I do oh, I do really want to uh, take this time. To uh, thank Brian and uh, and James for coming in for his yeah. time with Ken. Uh, I miss We've James had, already. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. It's almost like a little bit of detachment. He's the one that gave us the come thing. He did it. The, yeah. So I feel like he is currently in a corner somewhere masturbating into his hand. Thinking about it. I'm about to do Can it. Can we put up an in memory of James? I honestly right think here. I'd, heard, I'd do that Since before I br- listen to Grateful Dead. So he a- brought it up. I really <laughs> think that <laughs> it's a him problem. So <laughs> like, like if you bring up some shit, like it, you probably right. come in your hand and lick it. Maybe. Okay, so, like, I think he was testing the waters a little bit. Like how yeah, do these like, guys no react? One, no yeah. One. yeah. He's like, how many jokes? <laughs> how can, we, how many jokes can we make out of it? But I honestly, uh, James Barlow comes in his hand every time and licks it afterwards. Oh. He pulls out. Yeah, he's, he's a gentleman. Gonna, he's going to see this Thursday. He's a gentleman. He's like, Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's yeah. left after this, so that's what's yeah, even funny. Now he's gone. He's, he's, he, he's a gentleman. He pulls out. Comes right into his hand, looks straight. He looks you dead in the face. Yeah, do the, thank you. Do the Simba. And, 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 yeah. and, 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 Very much. Yeah, thank you. yeah. <laughs> That's even yeah. funny. Yeah. This yeah. is Simba. God damn it, Brian. Or he blesses you. you Fucking know, like, son of a yeah. bitch. John, like cut us the water. fuck off. John, here. can we right, get out of this please. episode? Yeah. This I episode guess, never got recorded. <laughs> it never was a thing. It's eighteen <laughs> different times. Yeah. I'm glad it keeps it's crashing. Find out what glitch we have. I hope to God we get this episode out on Thursday. Fuck you. Fuck you to everybody that's uh, helped us out. Mm-hmm. I really thought we'd have theme music by now. There it is. Uh, yeah. Holy it's shit. It's fucking awesome. I got no motherfucking confidence. Awesome. 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 Just lick it right out of your hand. <laughs>